Hey, good afternoon, Manchester, New Hampshire, and all the surrounding area. We are here with all kinds of mediums and psychics oh, yeah. and you name it, we're all here. Okay, even you're a psychic. You know, people, are, I, everybody has psychic ability. Do you agree oh, with that? Absolutely, everybody. Absolutely. Whether it's doing cards, whether it's painting, artwork, whether it's doing, what, you said you did stones? I do stone casting. Okay, what do you do? Throw them at somebody, then hit them in the head, then get a reading? <laughs> well, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. Right. But, um, there you go. I yeah, love her sense of humor. She's got a good one. All right. Very I pretty, too. Of course. Oh, I usually do the stone readings. Traditionally, you put like a tarp down or something on the ground and you just throw them from standing. I like to do a tabletop version more. Yeah. I have a little box that I put cushions in there. A little what? I made a little box with cushions. A little box? Box. Box, okay. <laughs> that's, I would that, have fun. that's not a New England accent, no. is it? All right. No. No. I box. don't have an accent unless I say the word accent. Oh. <laughs> okay, there you go. And you're going to be coming to our event, right? Yes, I yes. will okay. be. Okay, do you want to do the stone readings? I will be bringing a little bit of everything. Okay, okay. You didn't bring your application by any chance? Not with me, no. Okay. Want to mail in as soon as you can, please? Okay, because that way we get have a list. Okay. And this is Georgia. She's my, she's what it tries to keep me in mind, but it's almost impossible, right? I kind of like let it slide every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to tell people who you are? Right that way. That camera right there? Yep. Uh, my name is Caitlin Warnicky. I do psychic readings. Yeah, pull it up and pull your mic down. There you go. There you go. Now you gotta pull your mic down. There we go. Uh, no, pull your mic down too. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Little new at this. Nailed it. Yeah. Uh, my name is Caitlin Warnicky. I'm a psychic medium. Um, I've done readings over the phone, in person. I usually do fairs though, just because I like the change of the atmosphere That's and meeting all the new too, people. We? we were just talking about yeah. fairs. Isn't it fun? Yeah. I think it's fun. <laughs> it's awesome because you get to reach like a lot of people in one day, and it, it's it's. I don't know if it's like the sense of accomplishment or, or. But after a full day of reading, I'm fulfilled and I'm exhausted. Like I, I just. Oh, just, I get more yeah. energy, so I have to go home and smoke a joint and cut. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. No. Yeah, well, I do. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been doing it since college days. Oh. Oh, okay. You know, since oh, I'm only 35. Eight years? Yeah. yeah All right, cool. Years. Yeah, I right. gotcha. Yeah. And on this show, we do have a lot of fun. Okay. We try. And uh, Dave's an old, huh? an old soul been on the show, show many times. I've been know? on the show a few times, yeah. yeah. We have yeah. a lot of fun. We do. You know? we do. I was trying to think about that earlier. I think we've known each other. I'm going on five years five, now, yeah, somewhere absolutely. in there. Somewhere in there, yeah. Yeah, because it, just before you came on, I got hypnotized with cigarettes. Okay. Oh really? And I'm okay, because I've never known you as a smoker. So yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, I have. I gave a type of smoking for five and a half years now, and it does work. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm looking at you. You have a beautiful aura. Thank you. You really do. Oh, well, trust me. I didn't think so. Some of that dark spot. I'm just kidding. Yeah. You have <laughs> a lot. That's the brain. She brought it oh, over there. The yeah, <laughs> there you go. Don't be shy. That's the whole thing is, okay. One thing I, I like your aura. You, you have a beautiful. There's a lot of yellow in your aura. I've heard that one before. And you also have a lot of red in you. Red is heal you're healing a lot of yourself mm -hmm. from whatever, whether it's depression or whatever, it's illness within you. There's a lot of uh, healing coming into your own body. Alter it at the but it work for you, not against you. You're great at helping other people, but you forget to help yourself. I just posted that earlier today. I just posted that. There's a picture that I just posted about... Um, Especially us light workers, nobody takes care of themselves. We're always helping others. We're always just, you know, give, 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 give. And the bottom line is, uh, you can't pour from an empty cup. No. Nope. So if your cup's empty, then you got to go fill it up. Yeah. And uh, I, I tell everybody, uh, get energy work. If you're a light worker, go get energy work yourself. On at least I, I do it once a month, and everybody's different, but I, on a regular basis because um, so many of us are just like in the clouds, helping others, ungrounded, and um, we can only do so much before we burn out. So yeah. yeah. Well, do you agree with that? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, I definitely agree with that. I think just about anybody who really gets drawn into this work, it's mm. really because they're attracted to that healing energy that they need so desperately. Yep. But just with the mentality of being an energy worker, you find this great thing. You want to give it to everyone else first. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then yeah. I want. Then I. Uh, then I wonder why I get so exhausted. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, it is draining. Especially since I'm only 37. You no, know, 34 now. Really? Yeah. Just yeah. a minute ago, you were 38. 30, 30, yeah. Oh, it bounces well, around. Yeah. That's in, you want to get out the calculator dementia. and check real quick? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. That's the early dementia. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> but I've been doing this for a lot of time, probably older than most of you people are. 
you know. But you know when it came, you know, with me, and I think a lot of it with you too, it came natural. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. have to have a lot. Did you go to training, or were you naturally taught? I was just always drawn to working with energy. I've always been very visual from a young age, and I found myself manipulating it before I had words for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yep. then someone said, "Oh, well, you should consider actually learning some." And I, so far, I'm a Reiki master teacher. And I'm in the process of becoming a board-certified polarity therapist. A what? A polarity therapist. I want to explain to people what that means. So, so polarity you know. is yeah. a, I wouldn't say it's a new form of healing. <sighs> polarity was created by Dr. Stone, and he was an osteopathic, osteopathic chiropractor. And he wanted to know why these old healing modalities were still around. So he went over to China, to India, and to Japan, and learned a lot of their the ancient Chinese medicine. And he took that home with him and tested it with his own patients, see what worked and what didn't. And from what he got for the success, he put it together to create polarity therapy. Nice. Oh. So it has a lot of Reiki like style with mm -hmm. it, a lot of acupressure, not puncture. We yeah. don't use needles. <laughs> and, and no chiropractic pressure. No, we do not do bone adjustments. Okay. I can do some work adjusting the sacrum, and obviously, a lot of the work is centered around mm -hmm. the spine, being mm -hmm. a chiropractor himself. Yep. But it's a lot of work with different pathways, balancing the elements. You don't look old enough. Huh? You don't look old enough. Oh, no, she didn't create this. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you don't look old enough to have all this work that you're doing, that you're accomplishing. I kind of just, once I found this stuff, I kind of just dived in head first. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. <laughs> you know, just one of the things I'm going to give you a warning, I think you will probably don't overdo yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Many we know you many, do. Uh, many, <laughs> Not that he would know. He no, doesn't know no, me at all. <laughs> many, many people, mm -hmm. okay, they have all this, and they do this, they do that. Like this lady over here, she's got 4,000 things going at one time. That's a lot. you got to slow yourself down. Otherwise, you're not accomplishing anything for you. You know, not for nothing, but we're taught that from a young age, from society. Get out there and work. Get yeah, out there yeah. and work. Get out there and work. Yeah. And um, it's almost counterintuitive to our physical health because we're always spreading ourselves way too thin. And it's unfortunate that that's what our society tells us to do. But when we use our mental, yeah, that's where we get exhausted the most, okay? Uh, and yeah. you're not going to be fat, so stop worrying. <laughs> I always tell people um, energy work, when, I do, when I'm doing readings or when I'm doing energy work, I, I've, I've been out there, I've done tons of physical labor, I mean, I, you know, sho from shoveling dirt, like, I've, I've worked all different kinds of things. I know you haven't, Norman. No. Anyways, but what I'm saying is the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Energy work drains you more than any physical work that ever Actually, did. you know, ever, being a, yeah. Yeah. I was a nurse for 32 years, yeah. but you're right, actually. I do a lot of counseling in the office, yeah. I do a lot of, you know, and, and it's very, very, very exhausting at times. Do you find that? Oh, definitely, but it's so rewarding. It's like this, yeah. it's this strange feeling of, yes, you want to go lay down, mm -hmm. but you're just so motivated by what you, you know, do. When the body <laughs> yeah. says at night, you need to do that. You really need to. Okay. Yeah. Don't be, you know, I love your energy, like I've said before. I've actually had people on when I've asked them to leave. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that was because we were fighting. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she and I, he and I had a fighting that short time. No. 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 Did you win? But I have actually had people come <laughs> no. on and. One thing that it, it, it won't, you know, if you're not, don't tell me you're going to do something, then all of a sudden you get on there and you can't do it. Yeah. That's yep. what I get upset yeah. about. I think you would agree with it. She actually came and said, Oh, if people call, I can do readings. I said, Okay, you do phone call readings, right? So if somebody calls in, you can answer a question for them. I can do that over the okay, phone. Okay. <laughs> the reason I asked it because I've had people come in, Oh, I lost my, I don't I don't have my prayer beads. Oh, you, the you prayer beads. No, yeah. I think I remember the story, yeah. though. She did, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I look at because you lost your prayer beads. Yeah. Well, yeah. I said, how long have you been doing this? She said, oh, 23 years. I said, you don't know your prayer by now? You may leave. Have a good day. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and some people know. just, I don't know. You're moving to a new location. I am doing a whole move altogether. <laughs> yeah. Everything is up and moving right now. All right. You want to move to the what, towards the West Coast? I would like the West Coast, but I, I actually just got pulled closer to the East. <laughs> no, you're going to be moving to the West Coast within the next five years. Oh, well, I hope so. <laughs> Not going to be right away. Never hope. Always wish. Always wish. <laughs> <laughs> then I sincerely Always wish. wish. I'm trying to think of, uh, what is her name? Uh, wildfire. What's her name? I don't know. The, the wild, wild, wildfire. Yeah. 
We lost. She's out of Nashua. Okay. Okay. And she says, the angels will hope. Okay. You fired. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think. Yeah, she can get another if uh, the angels will wait with you, if you, you know, because we asked her a question, do, well, you know, do we have angels? She says, yeah, do they help? Yeah. But as long as you're hoping and you're waiting, they're going to wait with you. Hmm. I can't remember her in last. Oh. You're not a wild. I always oh, bring up the law of attraction. I love yeah. the law of attraction. I'm telling you that it, it's, it's crazy. It mm -hmm. is absolutely crazy. And that's one of the things like with me is I know that I work in chaos. Mm -hmm. I know I work in chaos. Mm -hmm. And um, there was just, I mean, so much was happening to me, which was all bad. Yep. You know, my house caught on fire. My house was hit by a tree. My house was drove into a, a car, drove through my kitchen. You know, I mean, it was like all these things. And then one day I sat at the kitchen table and said, I can't take this anymore. I am mm -hmm. not going to take this anymore. It needs to stop now. Well, you know what? It flipped. Mm -hmm. So instead of all this bad stuff happening, it's, it's, I really enjoy my life right now. Yep. You know, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm really Yeah, but busy. you need a chaotic but scene. But it's good chaos, right. you know. Right. And a lot of people don't realize is that is uh, when that when those bad things happen mm -hmm. and you keep you dwell on it like oh my house yeah. hit my house that got hit and and that's those are the thoughts that you're putting out into the universe and the yeah. universe as we all know and those of you who don't whatever you think the universe gives you so um, if you are thinking oh my house got hit by a tree your house is going to get hit by something else because it's in your thought pro process and some people are really good at manifesting these things and some people aren't really good at it but uh, those that are good at it can manifest misery like you read about but on the flip side like you said they can they can manifest happiness too yeah. so oh yeah i for years i dwelled in you know the gutter so to speak mm -hmm. poor me oh yeah oh when i started getting sober poor oh, me yeah. you know then i this lady i call her my hero my goddess or whatever you want to call it she has hiv virus okay and my miracle she's still alive mm -hmm. the, and she looks at me she says i won't use the word she terms she says, who the hell do you think you are That's right. you're sitting here you're telling you're feeling sorry for yourself and i don't know if i'm going to see my kids tomorrow. that's right yep. and you know what put it right in perspective right yep. and her boyfriend yep. came down to, i still had the cucumber pots in my eyes so i could take yep. the wrinkles out you know and her boyfriend came down at six thirty, uh, no, five thirty in the morning, got me out of bed. This is when my life started to change. Mm -hmm. Like you just said, we can make it how we want it to be, or we can make it. You know, poor me. I got a guy who texted me. Probably, I just said, if you can't text me positive, don't text me. Either. There you go. <laughs> by the way, you want to tell anybody who you were? Yes. Hey, everybody. I'm D. Uh, readingsbyd.com is my website. I uh, just opened up a new space in Exeter, New Hampshire. Um, mm -hmm. You can head over to the website and uh, book a reading there, or you can give me a call at 978-228-5333. So uh, head over there. Um, and I just got done doing a little tour of the U.S. Uh, as The Psychic and the Medium with another uh, medium, Brandy Wells. If you want to check out that website, that is thepsychicandthemedium.com. And if you haven't seen the bus, it is D's head right on the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, the tour bus. <laughs> You know, the first time I saw that picture, I thought it was Photoshop. I did too. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> you know, the wow. set, you know, and that's really you know, it's on the bus. When, I'm like, I we're see human. This. Not <laughs> everybody connects. I don't feel too That's correct. Cool. I haven't either. Cool. Yeah. You know, um, and that, but that's the sad part. Like, uh, some people, we went to the American Legion, a couple of the readers there, because I told them that. She had a, a young girl that was helping her do readings. The girl was only 14 or 15. I okay. said, you cannot allow, uh, people are not paying to have a 14-year-old right. girl and you looking up and doing a reading. Mm -hmm. You cannot allow this girl to do a reading with you. First of all, she's underage. Second right. of all, you know, you can get Well, from a legal away. and an ethical yeah. standpoint, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you know? yeah. I, I refuse to allow, allow anybody under age, under 18, to come into my office and do a reading unless they have an adult with them. Yeah. Are you that way? I could definitely see where those are the issues. Um, things that come up in readings, I mean, I've been doing readings since I was very young myself, but yeah. I can definitely say I interpret the messages I get very differently than I did at that age. Oh, and yes. My sister, she is very talented and probably one of the strongest psychics I know, but she does not do readings because 
she's 16. Mm, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, no, you know. And we do have an event coming. You said you're going to be there? Yes, I will be. Okay. What's your name again? Caitlin Warnicky. Caitlin? Caitlin? Caitlin, yes. Ka Caitlin? Caitlin, you got Caitlin. it. You okay. Got it. Yep. Caitlin's going to be there, and she's going to be off of her psychic ability to her. And we're looking forward to that. Yes. And if things all work out, maybe Dan will be there. We're not going to hold you to it. Um, listen, I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to try. And then we're going to have, these are the people that we're going to have. I'm there, of course, the star Who, celebrity. Who's though. that Norm Moody? Who's oh, that? Oh, well, they told me he's a jerk. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to find out. Find that out. Yeah, I would never know, you know. <laughs> and we got Eric Goldberg coming, and he's really good. Yeah. <laughs> and one of my all time close favorite friends is Amy Majors. Oh, yeah. I just love her. Yeah. We've had that difference, don't get me wrong. Well, I mean. You know, you have, you know. That's but life. I and just and love yeah. her. And of course, my very dear, and I'm going to get emotional. You better read, because I'm going to get emotional. All yeah. right. Uh, Lori Otto. Norm gets a little emotional, because Lori was a co-host here for, for a long, long time. Three and years. Three years, yeah. 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 So um, she spoiled him. She spoiled yeah, she him. did. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. So he gets yeah. a little emotional, so yeah. i got to read the name, and it's all right. Yeah. Um, we also have Lisa Moody. Yeah, uh, no relation. No relation. Oh, are you sure? She thinks I am, but I oh, don't think right. I am. Have you done the ancestry thing? Right, I'm yeah. pretty. She's not. Oh, there you go. Sold. <laughs> um, Cindy Stewart. And it's visionary, yeah, spiritualvisionary.net for anybody who... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Lisa and I love each other. But that one, you know. Yeah, for anybody who has a complaint. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, Cindy Stewart, uh, Pauline Hayworth, yeah. and uh, Michelle Finch Beers. Beers yeah. She's a new one. I'm looking forward to meeting her. Yeah. Okay. I, I love meeting new people. Have you met her too. yet? I don't huh? think so. For some reason, that name sounds so familiar to me. I really? Can't put, I can't put a face you to it. Her? I am awful with names. I have You're going to be a human. Oh, oh, yeah. And I, think, uh, I can't remember. I think... Um, Who's the one that comes in with? I have to look it up. And then for vendors, if all works out well, we got Linda Goodwin. I'm still waiting for confirmation. We definitely had Dr. Jody McDonald, and that's what he, we know really well. Charlie Rimmerman, Bergeron, as far as I know, Jeff Travis will be there. We have another person, Peace. How do you pronounce her last? Aselin? Yeah. Yeah. Aselin. Aselin, Aselin. Terrier Coleman, she was on my show. She and I, you know, we and it's fun because she and I have difference of opinions and politically, but we don't bring it into the show because I think that's wrong. You know, uh -huh. My show is not political. Yeah, politics you know. always gets right. always gets an uproar. And anyway, Ron Bias, uh, he's going to be coming on, and I think Carolyn James. She's been, were you here when she was on? I think so. Yeah. Isn't uh, she moving? I'm sorry? Was she the, um, I think she was moving. She's yeah. somewhere. And of course, Paula Clark, she'll be on next week. And then we got. What's Paula going to be doing? Is she going to be teaching some Tai Chi too? Uh, yep. And her group from the uh, UFO, is that what mm -hmm. you call them? The, oh, the uh, saucer. Uh, they go and they shake the spirits up in the house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 uh, oh my God, why can't I remember? Scott, what is it? They were here. They were here. Sturges, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they go and they shake up the, the spirits in the Sturs, house. yeah. Yeah, Sturs. Sturs, S-T-I-R-S. Yeah, Kyle, Hennessy, Karen. Right, well, she's already paid. Rowan, yeah, we got That's your you. Name, that yeah. is my business, yeah. yes. Redfoxbodywork.com. Red yeah. yeah. And we got Paul. That's your Beth business, Broxton. Red Fox Bodywork? I have two. If all these people, <laughs> and Susan Weiss, that's her last name, in Sacred Place, and Wanda V. and Joy. She's the crystal. All show She's the oh, crystals. my good gravy. Yeah. She's going to be there? Yeah. I'll leave it my checkbook at home. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. You know I always buy so many crystals and stones when she's around. We got a lot of crystals. She has, she has really great jewelry and mm -hmm. stuff like that and crystals. And yeah. Yeah. I have to avoid her booth every time. I, we got, <laughs> I have to and say you know what? The cool don't part is, you yeah, know me, Clark, from the surgeon. Uh, my friend, Dory. No, what I'm a Bada or whatever her name is. Bon Giovanni. That's right. Yeah. She's going to be off and breaky. Nice. Okay. Nice. She doesn't do a hard, uh, a astrology anymore. No. You know? Annie Flat, she does a lot of crochet and getting things to sell. Butterini and Bon, Bonnie and her, I'm not sure what y'all are doing. I'll have to look at it. But at least if everybody shows, I did it. Lynn Nickerson. And Scott Wells. Yeah. Did you yeah. say Scott Wells yeah. from Sticks and Stones? Yeah. 
They have amazing jewelry also. Yeah, That's yeah. another place I need to leave my yeah. technical. So if everybody shows, <laughs> if everybody comes in and shows up, we'll have like 25 vendors. Mm -hmm. nice. This is the biggest event we've ever had. That's good. You know, so I'm That's excited. Good. And it's my first, it's like my dream coming true. Because for years I have dreamt about how having to raise the money for people who can't afford to go to the vets with their sick dog mm -hmm. or cat. And we'll even pay for the husband's castration if they need to, you know. Nice. Yeah, oh, that's so, nice. Yeah. So, yeah you know. well, going above and beyond on that right. one. <laughs> <laughs> and also, what's exciting, we're going to have a dog, a couple of dog groomers coming in. Oh, nice. I got permission to do that. To so, do haircuts? Uh, I mean, yeah, I could then, probably, I'll let it again. grow till yeah, then. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. And then we got, and we're offering hot dogs and popcorn. Mm, there you go. And we're going to be having Mary's homemade baked beans. Beans, baked beans. Did you beans. have any of those? Of course I did. They were delicious, aren't they? They always are. Do you like baked beans? Oh, I eat baked beans. Not as a kid, but I've kind of oh, realized. Oh, if you try hers, you will love hers. Terrific one. And she sells out very, very quickly. Then yeah. I had my dear friend, Sydney Serino. I call her my weird old, but she, you know, but she's great. She's an artist. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. There you go. Put the mic stand away so you don't. Sorry play. about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and then Christina Sullivan. I don't quite. Oh, well, oh yeah, from the Large Institute, the one that yep. you, you know. And I want to thank you for recommending her. They're estheticians. Yeah, that's, yeah, they do. They also do massages, right? Um, they do facials. They do um, light therapy, manicures, pedicures. Well, I'm going to get the manicure, and I'm going to get the facial done on my cheek. I want the other day, manicure, yeah. pedicure, I think that's good. Look gorgeous, so you know. Well, you have, you have to, absolutely. Well, you're, <laughs> well, well, you and I are on TV. You and I look at her that great couple. Yeah, well, that, but we're both really good looking schedule. on that. Of course we are. Of course we are. Yeah. You know, when and, uh, people are always in awe when they come and look at me, and then I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm like, you know. <laughs> but I actually had I, one of the first events. Oh, I, one of the first <laughs> I went to was at the at the hotel down here. Okay. And these two ladies, they're, they're readers. They said to me, "We can't read you." I go, "Why?" She said, "We're in awe of you." I go, "Why are you in awe of me? I'm only a human being." And then I went, "What you're telling me, you don't really know how to read people." Uh, some people, some people, ego can can really mess with you. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah. What, if you if you're in awe of someone, or if in if in some people's case, if they're in awe of themselves, they yeah. get in their own way. Yeah. And uh, some of the readings they do, it just it's it's all ego. Yeah. It's all ego. Like a lot of people will just. I learned that to hard. Well, you yeah. cannot allow your ego to get in the way. And, and sometimes yeah. it's unavoidable. No. It's the human. It's human nature to have an ego. So yeah. it, it's hard to push that aside. If you don't know what you're doing, it's hard to push that aside. Oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of readers that get stuck in their ego. Oh, I can remember looking yeah. in the mirror and I and thanks my very dear friend Rindy, Wendy Stevens. I don't know if you know her or not. She's from. The name's familiar. Yeah. Uh, Gostow, beautiful, okay. hearted person. She looks at me. She says, "What do you say about me?" Because I was, oh, I'm the better read, you know, and all this and all that kind of. TV show and all get all this stuff, and she said, "What do you say about me behind my back?" And I go, "Wow!" I said, "I don't." <laughs> and she said, "Why don't you look in the mirror?" What I like that. Wow. You know. Yeah. You know. And then I went and I was on the TV show, me and Mr. Celebrity, which I really am not. <laughs> and I looked at the man in the spare and the spirit says to me, "Who the hell do you think you are?" I go, "What do you mean?" You know. You know. So that's what Put I realized. Yeah. 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 Because, oh yeah. See, I'm not the star. You are. Oh, well, don't put that on you my shoulders. <laughs> and you are. I was yeah. going to say, I know We're that. only tools. <laughs> yeah. I'm only a tool that oh, makes people oh, fall. Yeah. Isn't that a better situation? Oh, absolutely. I tell I tell people that all the time. I, I, I get a lot of, um, oh, well, you're psychic. You're supposed to know everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that one. Oh, don't you? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. No, first of all, um, I only know what spirit gives me. So um, as far as telling you the lottery numbers, if you're meant to have them, then absolutely <laughs> it's going to happen. If you're not you meant to have them, that. then no. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, I swear, every day. Oh, yeah. yeah. And oh, it yeah. is the hardest conversation to have with somebody. <laughs> yeah. I actually, it, it was at first, and now I just flip it. I, just, I do, it, too. It is, yeah. It's like, uh, it's. I just I just give them six Think numbers. About six random numbers. Yeah, Here you go. Too. <laughs> Think about this. If you and I and you, and you know, if we could know who what state we're going to win, we could break the bank. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And I'd still come do the show, though. Yeah. It's, yeah well, I, I don't know. I might have someone speak for me. You really? Know, take my oh, coat no. off. Oh, but yeah. I already have that. I'm very spoiled. Yeah. I have a partner that spoils me tremendously. Fair know? enough. One of the things I'm also looking at you, um, so how did you get in? How did you make, You have your own business? Yes. And your uh, website is? 
Well, my website is due to change as well. Everything okay. is in Up the process. In the I wish I had something more concrete to give you right now. Oh, no. You have a phone number they can reach you? Facebook. I am switching everything. Oh. <laughs> so. All right. I'll well, keep you, you posted. And we all set up by October, right? I will be able to be set up enough for the fair regardless. <laughs> well, one thing I'd like you to do, though, when you do is just bring your info with you to the event. Okay. And that one they can see who they're reading and stuff. Can people check it at the desk and they see? I, I want people to walk through by yeah. whom they may want. Yeah. I've been to a couple of readings and you looked up. Well, no, you can't go in there and go, well, why not? So yeah, I don't no. Know you that. And, folks, there is no admission fee. I don't That's believe cool. in that. I yeah. don't think I think it's wrong. We I've are taking donations, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. I. Right. Hey, I'm Jewish. What you I'm just letting you know we're taking donations for the animals. So yeah, yeah. We yeah, got to yeah. tell everybody. Yeah. Like you don't you don't have to pay, but I mean it's for but the animals. The, yeah. Come on. But for the readers, uh, yeah, you do pay. The yeah. vendor take whatever money they put into whatever they sell. Oh God. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Out of habit. Maybe I should put handcuffs. Oh, no, I better Yeah, like, none of like that. No. <laughs> One other thing I'm also going to check, who's the lady spirit that passed that's very close to you? The lady spirit who's passed that's close With to With your permission, I'm sorry. Oh, you've got my permission. Okay. Well, which one would it be? <laughs> it's an older lady. Is it on mom's side? I do have an aunt from my mother's side who apparently was into the mysticism. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. That's a big word. I like the mysticism, yeah. yeah. Can you spell word. that one? Because no. I'm, no, I'm right. not a good speller. Uh, okay. Can you spell it? Well, I'm thinking mystic with sism. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Mysticism. <laughs> <laughs> I like that word. I won't be taking a guess at spelling. No. <laughs> I'm not the world's best speller. But well, one of the things I want to let you know is she's very proud of you. I would hope so. Phone? That's got to be you. That's not me. That's not my she oh, yeah. was definitely one of the ones who, when I was working oh, early yeah. on, yeah, she was even on Bo. Yep, she was the one who introduced us, saying oh, nice. she was there, looking to help guide me through it. Um, she assists me a lot with the medium work. Mm -hmm. I assume that was her gift at the time. Yep, she's not always one for many words when I've tried to contact her. <laughs> Fair enough. What thing you people have got to understand What's going is on uh, what we do. <laughs> you. Yeah, what's I'll leave it. Hey, Scott. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Scott, Scott left. Oh, he'll be back. Yeah. What, what we do is that, you know, if I can't read somebody, I will send it to somebody they need Absolutely. to Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I don't like when they say, oh, come on in. I, I'll do a reading on you. And then they don't know. When to, do you agree with that? I mean, if you, I mean, I have probably 98% of the people I can read. Yeah. But there, there's always that two percent. I, I can think of two people off the top of my head that I had to say, you know what? It's not happening today. No, yeah. You know? yeah. I've always no. found if I can't read somebody, they don't want to be read. Well, right. that's usually the case. <laughs> by whether, yes. And it may be not by us, or it may be by somebody else, you know. So yeah. I will send them to, to other people. Then uh, I had this one guy, he gave me the hardest. I said, sir, you know, arrogant? I don't want to read you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't need you, I'm arrogant. And then he says, well, I only got $20. And I go, sir, you kidding me. So, you know, <laughs> I don't need the Keep money it. that bad, yeah. you know. No. But there are times when, and I know you're in the same way, and I know you're probably, if they can't really afford a full price of a reading, you'll give it to them maybe at a discount or whatever. I'll tell you what, spirit will come right through and tell me if this person can't afford it. Yeah. And usually, usually I can tell um, yeah. just by the conversation, but... If there's ever any doubt at the very end, spirit will say, don't charge this person yeah. or, you know. And now you feel better. Afterwards. I love it. I yeah, love it. Yeah. I, I really, it, I really do love helping people. That's really what it is all yeah, about for yeah, me, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I have, um, you know, the one thing I don't do, and I'm not being discriminating against, if someone is on state welfare, what do they call it, AFDC or a, a yeah, you know, whatever, welfare or whatever, whatever. It's if they're on that, I will not charge them. Yeah. Yeah. I will I, I'd rather give them. The reading free say it's my gift. Yep. Because remember, folks, it's a tax dollars that are paying. It's true. Money. And I would feel guilty if they leave a five or a ten fine. I'm not going to speak, but I don't have the right to charge it. Well, and you'll know if the information is supposed to get to them, it'll get to them one way That's or the right. other. The dollar yeah. exchange is. Yeah. About a far it, from it as it it's can all get. about the energy exchange, really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just so, their gratitude is 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 an energy exchange. So if they're if they're really grateful, some people they don't need readings. They they it's like a it's like a 
confirmation. Yeah, yeah, it's not even a confirmation. It's just like a joke to them. It's like to pass the time. Like they just, you know, well, tell me this, tell me that. And those are the people they don't appreciate it. That 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 the 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 uh, energy exchange. It is a dollar amount because they yeah, don't that, they, they that, don't that, actually that do. appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. I, oh, I was so excited that the lady that came from Russia, yeah, and she was, and she heard about me through her other friends. Mm -hmm. And what I had a great time doing it. That's awesome. I love reading people from other countries. Do you read people from another? I have not had the privilege of somebody from another country who didn't. If you just have to have a tape, you know, an interpreter. You know. I only speak one language. If they speak English, I mean. Yeah. I, well, I have an interpreter that comes in with them when they come in. Like, oh, I buy wow. people from Spanish, they bring an interpreter. You, you have it too, right? I actually don't have an interpreter. Um, I've, I've been lucky enough to only get English speaking, but I mean, like the Scottish people, holy smoke, oh, I, I can barely fun. understand yeah. them, but it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've done that. You know, yeah. Australia, Sc yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, but it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I've worked very hard for the, for the reputation yep. that I have. And if you think working, if you think all these reading, all this stuff comes in easy, it doesn't. No. Like what? She's a forgiving person. She's really a person who gives from her heart. God, that hurt. You know that hurts me to be nice. Did you just you know give that. a compliment? Yeah. Oh, right. You know how that hurts, right? That's interesting. Yeah. That's a weird thing you yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Keep it over there. <laughs> <laughs> but the one thing about Bridget is she's always caring about other people. You work, you know, you work to help unwanted mothers, right? Want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, I work at a house. It's a parenting program. It's a homeless parenting program for um, teenage girls. We take girls 13 to 21 who are pregnant and up to two kids, and we help them um, parent, teach them parenting skills and coping skills and try to get them to be self-sufficient. Now, do they live in that house? Yes. Even with the kids? Yes. You push them, the kids down the stairs? No. Oh. We don't have stairs. No, I don't think you can do that legally anymore. Oh, you can't do no, that anymore? No, no. She was. No, no. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yeah, but I'll, be, I'll beat Bridget now. Spiritualvisionary.net <laughs> for those emails, people. <laughs> Actually, I do like... <laughs> here I go again. <clears throat> Actually, I do like children. It's the way the parents allow them to do things. Mm -hmm. Do you have children? I do. I have a three-year-old, actually. Oh, very gifted, huh? Oh, he surpassed even the sister I told you about. Yeah. He comes up with a <laughs> scary sometimes. Don't discourage him. Oh, of course not. Yeah. You'd be amazed. At, it, it, it really is amazing how many people that will try to discourage him. Oh, you're seeing things. Are you mentally yeah. ill or like this? Do you I have him doing yoga yet? He does it with me, okay. actually. Uh, polarity Good. involves some yoga Good. moves, and he loves it. Yeah. But the biggest reason I told myself I was going to do this with opening my business and offering psychic readings is... I wanted him, because I knew everyone's going to tell him it's not true, to see that I believe in this to such a degree, this is what I dedicated my life to. Mm -hmm. So even if everybody else tells you it's fake, I'm doing everything I can to keep this in I'm his gonna life. I'm going to tell you, back I got back in way back in that late, uh, so now I'm going to be giving my age, and oh my God. <laughs> well, I can lie a little bit. You know. No. Well, no, no. no. Back in the 50s, okay, late 40s, early 50s, I knew I had this. But, oh, that's the work of the devil, you know. Oh, stuff. back then, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah. couldn't do that. Yeah. And my, my dad actually had, had it too, but he just, you know, wouldn't recognize it. My mom, before I, for what they tell me, I'm going to have the baby when she passed. And then I have another. You know, psychic ability has been around or spiritual for centuries. Oh, forever, it, forever. The, the, Jesus, the prophet, was Where did the Bible psychic. come from? Right, exactly. Huh? Where did the Bible come from? Psychics. Yes, yeah, there yep. you go. Oh, I like that. Thank you. You just gave me something to remember when they start questioning. Where did the Bible? Thank you. I. It, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? She it, does come it's up true, with some informal. Yeah. yeah. She does come Think up with some it. good. I don't want to build up her ego too much. All right. All right. But she does come up with good information like yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what was the trivia question? Oh, yeah. Trivia. Trivia question. time. All right. So the trivia question of the day we all decided. Was uh, are we going to do call-ins? Are we going to have people call in? The oh. first call in that calls in and gets it right, we'll get a ten-minute reading from you and I together. All right, all right. And no, you. I think we should get Caitlin in on this too. Yeah, and Caitlin, right. the three of us. How's that? All right. So Problem. the trivia question is, and please don't use Google. Don't just you know, if you know it, call in. If you don't know it, don't cheat. Um, <laughs> and you're dreaming. I know. <laughs> how many Clydesdale horses um, do they hitch up to the Budweiser wagon to pull the wagon? How many horses? So that's the question. If you know it, give us a call. Uh, what's, do you know the number? Yeah. It's right on the... 
Um, Is it? Start with, yeah. start with the 603. Area code 603 640 3091. There you go. All right. No. I'm going with 47 myself. Yeah. 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 No, that was my guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the wrong one. I know. You know the Budweiser commercial that really tears me up is the one that they did right after 9-11. Oh. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Where the horses kneel. Oh, yeah. Yes, I love yeah, that I love one. Yeah. 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 So Actually, it's a, a pretty easy there. question. Did they, have any, did they have the Klein Shields in Merrimack as well as in... Absolutely. They Pedro's. have them in Merrimack, and I want to say on the first Saturday of the month, you can go in to the stables and you can see the horses and um, actually take pictures with the horses oh, nice. with oh. one horse. Yeah, they also uh, I've been told they treat the horses better than they do their employees. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> they should though. Yeah. They should. I mean, have you seen the stables? <coughs> I took my son to meet those horses last year. Yeah, I actually the stable is you. better looking than yeah. a lot of houses. Yeah. Say, I would probably encourage master. you with your son to let him learn how to ride early. Everybody has told me from even when I was pregnant, this kid needs to be around horses. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I am going to also encourage you not to allow them to put him on any type of medication. He can be pretty hyper, am I correct? Well, he's a three-year-old boy. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> when they get him into school, because he, now one thing I know about children, and I think myself too, and I, you, I don't know, you're pretty brainy at times. Yeah, I'm pretty brainy, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. but I, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, one of the things that you know the teachers think that oh you're retarded or you're feeble mind. I used to be called retarded, feeble mind, and you name it. I went through it because I could not cope with the regular classroom back in them days. They didn't have the special classes. I learned more sitting out and getting kicked out and sitting in the hallways yeah. than I did in, yep. in the classroom. Because I used to call the operators and talk to them all the time. You know that was cool. But. I was a troublemaker. Up they put me on a they gave they diagnosed me as an ADHD oh, back in second grade yeah. and they just looked at me and wrote the script and yep. I remember every morning walking into that classroom and this teacher I still swear she had it out for me <laughs> would look me in the eyes and say do you remember your medication today in front mm. of everybody oh that's very nice and if her. I would forget she would make me sit in for recess wow. and that was so my How son horrible. will never yeah, yeah. That's so why ridiculous. wouldn't you just say yeah I took it yeah I was a bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bit her. Yeah, you would have bit her. You know, I think yeah, I would, I by second grade, her. I was out of the biting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you know, so, you know. I'm not saying that all, there are a lot of millions of good teachers out there. But oh, of there course. There are some horrible, my, my granddaughter was bullied in school. <sighs> and we almost lost her about four months ago oh, wow. to suicide. But now she's going to be going to the... College in Portsmouth Community College. She's going to study to be an animal tech. So nice. it's amazing how one can turn their life around when a lot of confidence and a lot of like that, you know. And she and her dad are learning how to do smoke cooking on the grill. Oh, yeah. Not well, the pot. I do already do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I think you said that. But yeah, but <laughs> and it's amazing how one can change their life if they want to. If they want well, to. Well, that's the thing. And pe most people need to realize your life is only one decision away from changing. If you're having a bad life, change it. Just make the decision. Like that's. I mean, it, it sounds so easy, but and, but it is so easy. Yeah. You don't yeah, have yeah. to. You don't have to stick around if you're in a bad place. You you can do whatever you want to do. We have free will. Yeah. There's, a, there's a gentleman. It's listen, all about your choice. It is right. all about Law your of choice. Attraction going with it. Well, of course. <laughs> Change your mindset. Of course, but the bottom line is, if you really, really hate what's going on in your life, Change it. Change it. Change it. We yeah. had the lady. That was on, she was great, wasn't she? That was on last week from the. Yes. You know, and the sacred place. That, yeah, safe and place. So she's going to be coming. And the lady that came on with her could find out 35 years ago, I taught her how to dance. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I you mean, know how to dance? I the stripper dance. Oh, the, okay. Back in the day. I yeah, back you. in the day, the, mm -hmm. the pole and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. All right. I used to actually be a pretty good dancer at one time. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, there mm -hmm. we go. I'm getting better. You I'm are getting, getting better. better. Yeah. You know, but I also one of the things that would you like uh, would you read it, would dance for me when you allow her to do a reading on you? If she wants to, I'm not going to yeah. pressure no, no, her. No, no, no. If she's well, it depends. Does he have the right answer for the amount of horses? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I happen to have the right answer. We yes. do now, yeah, don't we? Do, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I guess I guessed incorrectly at first, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's all good. If you're uncomfortable, don't do it. I could do a reading okay. if you wanted one. Do you need cards or not? I usually do use cards, and I'll just have a deck at hand if that's if you don't oh, mind yeah. me grabbing it. Yeah, no. absolutely. All right, and Georgette, would you want to have her read you if she wants to? The name's Bridget. 
Why do I keep calling you Georgia? <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? I almost <laughs> corrected him for you that time. I almost nudged him. I was I'm telling you, Laura says the name tags. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm sure that he, but yeah, she was absolutely out of wondering. I'm wondering in her past life if she was in Georgia. I don't know. You said I was a really mean plantation owner. Yeah, so maybe that's where I get the name from. Maybe from well, that Georgia. That was only one life, though. That yeah. was only. Yeah. We don't want to recall that one. Yeah. If we remember all the past life, you know, I was thinking, you know, and I talked to a couple of other people, is that a lot of people that are gay, like myself, or, or like, I'm wondering if, like, I know I was a woman in my mm -hmm. past life before I came mm -hmm. here, and I knew I liked Wasn't men it? tremendously. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if I passed, uh, we, could I do, die in a brutal accident? Maybe that thought about liking men, like you're not coming to a man's body. Oh, yeah. absolutely, that absolutely. Know, I, I have a, I have a really good theory. You agree with that? Absolutely, that comes into play. People don't realize their past lives. Um, we do have energy strains from our past yeah. lives because they're part of our being. So absolutely, that that comes through. Yeah. Um, and it's not always, you know, it could be just anything. Just yeah. people don't know why they have a fear of heights. Uh, you know, yeah. some people have uh, like needles. Like I don't, I don't really do well with needles. And Me it turn and it turns out I was impaled a few times in my few past <laughs> lives. So. Um, I don't have a, a, like, I can see them, it's no problem, but whenever, like, I have to give blood or something, my body just reacts, and it's just, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, you know, because you know, I've always felt that, like, a lady who, like, men along, you know, the past life, she, and then when she comes here, or a man who still likes, you know, whatever, yeah. and they still like the women, absolutely they were men in their past life, you know. Yeah. And I was actually on a show, and I, I am so proud of myself for 50, I out-talked them all. No, that wouldn't be you know you know I wouldn't be able to talk very much. You know, no, you're not a, no, no, not a talker. Uh, you know. No, not really. But uh, actually, I never was until I started my own TV show. A TV show makes a big difference. I actually see you having your own cable access TV show. <laughs> oh, but what about me? I want one. You only had two. I know. You've had two. No. You have a radio show. I have right? the radio show. I was going to say yeah. I know you had the radio yeah. show, but just I the radio know. show. Yeah. We but haven't transitioned to TV. It. I'm doing a lot of Facebook Lives, but we haven't transitioned to a TV show yet. I'm going to be getting a holy since I set up my... my um, Rolodex? Yeah, my podcast. What do you call it? No, the, the computer radio. Oh, yeah, the, the yeah, podcast. Yeah, the broadcast. Yeah. I'll be yeah. getting a hold of you to have week. You don't have to be away. We can do it. Yeah, you can yeah. do it from here. Yeah. I'm going to be doing it when Lynn Nickerson, she's going to get a hold of me. Yeah, yeah. I actually know um, a bunch of Lynn's family. I've never yeah. actually, I don't think I've ever introduced myself to Lynn herself, so that'd be, that's cool. She and her friend. I love to, I, I actually had my own radio show. And let me tell you, my friend and I, she's Afro-American. If you had heard the way we talked to each other, you would have thought we were racist as heck, seriously. Oh, Howard Stern. Yeah, worse than that, <laughs> yeah. But our ratings were there. Yeah, of course. You know. But then I, one morning I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I said, who the hell am I? I'm preaching love on one side, mm -hmm. but then I'm doing this Joking show. Joking about, yeah. And also, once I shut that show down, I, my son wouldn't even listen to the radio mm -hmm. show. That's how bad it was. Oh, wow. And um, all, I lost a lot of people, a lot of respect from other people. And then once I showed, all the, it was like a whole new beginning. Mm -hmm. I went to do a psychic event over at the end over at the State Bridge. Yep. And the blues had kept us away from it. And when mm -hmm. I went to here, they had lost their records and all that. I said, okay, I got the message. Yep. Yeah. So then when I started doing that, then my whole world of philosophy changed. Okay. Now, do you, does he need to sit over here for him to do the reading, or are you okay with him I there? think we're good. Are you comfortable okay. there? I'm good. Okay. I'm just going to move the mic a yeah, little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Not breaking anything um, here. Do we want to do, like, a question, like, uh, or d what do you want to do? Um, you want to start with a question, see yeah. we go from there? Yeah, why don't we just do a, a reading on um, my new office space, see what you get around that. Okay. Good, bad, and different. I already got a beat, but I'll let her tag you. Yeah, let her go first, Norm. Then, 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 then we'll, we'll see. Then we'll, see. Yeah, then we'll get Georgette to do it. <laughs> Georgette, nailed it. Harriet. Harriet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bridget. Close. Bridget. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know what it has. It's an at. You got it. Why do I keep getting Georgette? Oh. It was someone from your childhood. What? Yeah. I actually, I think it was like a spirit guide. I don't think it was someone on the... On the oh, okay. Yeah. Were well, you my spirit guide in my past life and I didn't know it? You know, I get around. Right. How's it feel sitting <laughs> you over there? You never knew yeah. where she I'm going. one gonna... of your deckhands on one of your pirate ships. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Feel different <laughs> sitting over there? Doesn't really make a difference. I, I can see. talk from both sides of the table. Oh, we already know that. 
So I can tell you right off the bat, you have a Don't very... Don't the table. Yeah. yeah, the microphones are very sensitive. Just take it easy there. Yeah. Bad habit with the deck. It's all good. <laughs> you have a very angelic source mm -hmm. who very much likes this new space. They're kind of going at it, almost like this confident, I picked this one out. Yep. I sent him over here. Absolutely. Very proud of themselves, mm -hmm. by the way. <laughs> that makes total sense. So the first card I got was the Emperor, which is talking about focus and stability. Huge when you're asking about a new business location, so full support there. Nice. <laughs> Fulfillment and celebration. Nailed it. <laughs> What's this third one? Passion and creativity. I love this deck already. I know. It's a beautiful <laughs> deck. I know, right? <laughs> I love animal-based decks, so yeah. I have at least five of them myself. Awesome. Everything around it is just agreeing that this office was... Not a blessing in disguise, actually. Very much right in front of your face with it. <laughs> oh, it was it was definitely meant to be because there were there were many that I got the door slammed in my face on the way here, on the way to get this place. Like not like literally, but like um, sit down and like yeah, this is gonna be great. And then when it came time to actually you know move in, they're like oh no, sorry, like <laughs> just weird, weird. Like so when this came along and it was just so easy, I'm like okay, perfect. If you, if you go through that many shut doors and funky scenarios, you know somebody else is pulling the oh, strings. Oh, of course. I knew. I knew right from the get-go. But I was just like, all right, hurry it up. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get there. It's in the perfect time. Oh, I know. Nice. Well, Not always good. our definition of it, but... No, well, they, don't, they live outside of time, so it's hard for them to understand what we're talking about. What just, other cards did we get? We got, uh, see the buffalo over there? So all these cards kind of came together. This okay. one is talking about dedication. It says process, transition, liberation, these two blessings, well-being, release, and recovery. So all of these cards are, I can't imagine there's any more uh, blessing <laughs> <laughs> cards in this deck. Fair enough. So that's a, that's a thumbs up from five standpoints. So six, oh. yeah. As they put Seven. it. Seven. It's a simple question, so yeah. here's your overwhelming. Perfect. But Perfect. I can say the visuals I got as soon as I started shuffling the mm -hmm. deck was just this like, I saw the space mm -hmm. and no roof, just this angelic being sitting over here, like. <laughs> awesome. It's yeah, the are you light. there by yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you cannot, you're like, you cannot have someone working with you. No. <laughs> no. You know, we're, we're both too independent that way. I'm mm -hmm. not having somebody tell me one way or the other. Yeah, no. Are you just doing readings or energy healing? Energy healing and readings. Yep, readings and Reiki, I call it. R&R. &R. Yep. Very good. Absolutely, and the Reiki space is beautiful. The I have the energy set up in there, and I'm not going to say I did it because you know, obviously. But you the, need to get some salt water so to put in your office. I got it. All right. I got it. Okay. Brought it in there the other day. <laughs> You're picking up on it. You got yeah. it. And yep. where did you get that Maybe from? Straight from the beach. Light. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The colors are light. Yep. Absolutely. And you punch away with it. Definitely. No, I did. Yeah, I got the Reiki. Oh, I got it all set up, Noam. You'd be impressed. You'd be impressed. Oh, I, I got out the compass. I figured it all out. I'm visualizing it already, yeah. okay. Latitude and longitude. But I, actually, I see you, you, uh, your grandparents on your father's side are very proud of you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. your grandmother. Sense. Makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. You want to do her? Sure. Do you want to just do a question as well? Oh, what was the eye roll? Come on, take a deep breath. Oh, you got let this. let me tell you what. There's, a, there's <laughs> many. There's many. Um, uh, recent trans, transit, um, transition, is it going to go well? You're in the middle of a transition. Is it just you involved, or is there other parties involved? Other parties. Folks, we are having a reading done by Caitlin here for our friend here, Bridget. Nice. Yeah. Nailed Got it. it. Nailed it. Caitlin yeah. and Bridget. Good yeah. job, Norm. Yeah, I think it is going for my task. Listen yeah. next week. She whistled like <laughs> yeah. I think uh, she probably looks a lot like her. Is there something she, specific she you're trying to get similar. away from yeah. with this transition, or is it just more for growth moving on? Moving on. Okay. Yeah, growth and moving on. This one's definitely Moving looks like on. it's been more of a long time coming, and maybe there was some dragging the feet involved in this from a party side. I'm not sure how intentional or conscious this was, but that was part of what the holdup is. There was definitely some hesitation. I just want to keep shuffling. She would not make a good poker player. <laughs> I'm the same way when I shuffle, though. But the, in, in her defense, there's a lot of cards in that deck. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's like that's like two or three normal decks right there. 
Why do psychics have so many different type of cards when they come in? You know, the funny thing is, um, it's weird because I have a tarot deck that I've had as long as I can remember. And it never once resonated with me. I've used it, and eh, give or take, I bought this this new deck. It has to deal with the chakras of the body, and I but I love that deck. Now you bought it, wasn't given. I to bought you. it. Oh, okay. So I, spirit, I, yeah. the spirit chose. Well, they it yeah, they yeah. did. They definitely chose yeah. it. Yeah. Well, this is always a great card to see when it comes to transitions. You got to put your mic up so they can hear you. Sorry. So I could tell you right off the bat with the tower. This talks about huge crossing each area's type of change, whether this is about a residence or a career change or something in its own direction relationship-wise. This is talking about everything coming apart for you to go through to the new. So when we mentioned about leaving things and stepping aside, this is definitely the card that goes along with action. But you also have the Knight of Feathers. This is what's referring to that hesitancy I was saying, how this transition needed to happen whichever direction you're choosing to go with it, it has to happen regardless. It can't really say, no, I'm repeating myself. It's all good. <laughs> the transition good. is going exactly as it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. It is going to be good and trust that this is for your best interest. It's not a fun process, <laughs> but how can it not be good? It was what's meant to be. It's shedding and leaving behind old energy, past experiences mm -hmm. that are no longer relevant or needed for you or your energetic path. And then right. here we have the challenge and the growth. And this is where it's referring to it's, yes, it's a good thing that's going to change. No, not every step of the process is going to be fun. But it's going to lead to growth. It's going to be, take you further along the path you're meant to go to. So it is a good change no matter how you want to look at it. But some things don't always go smooth. <laughs> I can agree with that. That's relax, relax. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting to, yeah. yeah. Yep. Relax yourself. Relax. I'm always holding myself okay. up. Relax, relax. Don't be nervous. You're only on uh, TV with thousand people yeah, watching. Yeah, it's fine. Nobody's so. watching. It's good. <laughs> um, I was actually picking up on that, too, if I can add to that, because I was getting some information as you were talking. Um, the letting go part, like you were talking about, that's the painful part. There's a lot of – it's it's not even physical stuff of letting go. It's it's just emotional stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, So this happened, and, and it's in your it's in your field, and it, it, it needs to be addressed as, okay, I needed to learn from this. I need to not carry any grudges around this. I need to release the anger or whatever it is. I, I, I don't even know what emotion it is, but I can feel it and it's like an anger. So that needs to be released to make this transition smoother, if, if that makes any sense. There's, there's, a, there's a little bit of holding on to stuff in the past that's kind of causing this to be a pain, more of a pain than it needs to be. So I don't know what you have for energy work practices, but there needs to be a little bit of cutting cords and a little bit of letting go on the back end. And I'm, Absolutely. I, I don't need to, I don't try not to jump in on other people's readings, but Spirit's like, you got to say this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> That's why we have everybody on the show. Yeah, yeah. You know. It is hard watching someone else give a reading it when is. you're getting the information oh, it is. as I'm well. Just like, it's just like, I would oh, I have it this to, way. Sometimes I have to sit there, no, I can't interfere, you know. Yep. Because... You know, I don't want because I don't think it's cool for you know. But you it's not. It's not. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't ever try to jump no. in. But when spirit pounds you, you gotta say it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Noam. What, what, what do you? You got a deck of cards? Thank you. Playing? Yeah, we're of gonna play. Thank you, Daniel. We'll play some Actually, go fish. Yeah. May I do a reading on you? <laughs> I would love to see what you get with your celebrity status and all. All oh, right. Celebrity Noam. <laughs> yeah, it works very good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have you shuffle these. Okay. You know, that guy was telling you. A lot of times, I don't, Lori, I, you, know, a lot of, you don't really need cards. They're more of a... No, it's a tool. It's, it's a tool. People need to see something yep. laying there. You yep. agree with that? You know? I would well, definitely believe... One of the things that you haven't... What I want to tell you is you haven't even touched the iceberg of your growing in the spiritual level. No. You have not even touched it. When you got to pull yourself back and stop thinking you know it all, because you don't. I don't? You, <laughs> No, I'm really serious. I've seen many people that come in and think they know it all. They've actually learned nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's when you stop you know, learning, when you think you know it. When you say you know it all, yep. you say, wait, you've learned nothing. I do see a baby girl. You okay? I wasn't even going to ask you that one. <laughs> but, you know, I don't go my questions. <laughs> I do sometimes, but I'm going to have you take out five cards. You want me to pick five? Yeah. Don't look at them. You take out five. Ooh, 
Ooh, you angry at? Am I angry? Yeah. Am I at five? I don't know. Did you get five? One short. One more. Go with that guy right there. I'm sure there's somebody that when you took one card out, I, 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 I flash on anger. Are you angry at somebody? Well, we're all human. <laughs> no, no, that's what I asked you. There is someone in particular. Let it go. The ace of Because the more you hold on to that anger, it could be a boyfriend, husband, whatever, but it's not helping. You're allowing that anger from that person to win. Mm -hmm. Okay? You've got to let it go. Okay, and when you do let it go, you gotta say, "Wow!" I would probably encourage you to write a letter and then burn it. I love that. I I, I recommend that all the time. Write, write the, the, a letter. Write a letter. You don't have to send it to anybody. No, just no. Write a letter. Write it down. Get it all out, yeah. and then just burn it. Yes. Now yeah, don't see? burn it on your couch. Don't no, no, light no. your place on fire. Use a metal bowl or in the sink yeah. or something. But or yeah. a fireplace or whatever. Yeah. Do you have sage? I do. I have and so much. <laughs> okay. When you do that, burn it with sage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're sending all that negativity out with love. Release it. Yep. Okay. And you're going to really feel better. Mm -hmm. Okay. It I, works. Yeah, it sure does. One of the things I'm also looking at, Laney, like I said before, you've got a lot of lessons coming to you. You're not going to like them all. <laughs> I'm sure that I've had many lessons that I didn't like, and you have. Mm -hmm. And then you say, why? You know, like I've gone out and say, okay, I've had enough. I'm not going to do it anymore. Then spirit will show me what it will look like if I don't mm -hmm. continue if I choose not to. Because they'll take it away if you want them to. But I don't think you're ready to do that yet. <laughs> and the office that you have that you're going to be expanding. However, you cannot go into business with someone else. Because that's only going to hurt your growth. Yeah. Okay. Even with your sister. I know you love your sister. I know she has a great addition. And I know she's great spiritually. But for you two to work together would be a big challenge. <laughs> you can't, okay, so I'm letting you know. And like I said, the lady that I saw that passed away has a lot of respect for you, okay? You really do care about what you do, okay? You also have a beautiful child, okay? He's also rambunctious, okay? Do not allow someone to speak baby talk to him. That was my first advice my mother gave me, and she said she didn't do it with any of her kids, and she would chase you off if you tried. Oh, my ex-wife, caught, I caught her talking baby talk to my son. I flipped out like there was no tomorrow. Because this is why you have all these special ed teachers because they're talking, you know, speak to her because the parents are, oh, you want your bubba or stuff like that, you know. One of the things, you, the last three years have been pretty rough for you at times, huh? Down to the T. <laughs> yeah, almost, but it's, all, but it's going away. I'm not going to tell you it's all going to be peaches and cream and stuff no. like that, but what I will tell you, it will get better but you have to earn the right to get it better. And you also, are you with a partner right now? Uh, yes, I'm engaged. Congratulations. Thank you. And I was just one of, I didn't want to jump the gun there. I've done right, that before, right. you know. But I see a beautiful wedding. And you've got to stop blaming him for things that he may not be doing. You've got to trust him. <laughs> You've been hurt by many people. Okay? Yes. This man, will not hurt you. He, he adores you. He doesn't understand what you're doing, but he respects the fact that what you're doing. Did he call you? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> no, but his spirit guides did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They Give her hell. Give her hell. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. It's yeah. true. It's no, I'm saying. Yeah. He is a really a hard working man, isn't he? Okay. <laughs> he work himself to death if you yeah. let him. <laughs> if he didn't love you, he would not put up with your BS. <laughs> Sound like my mother now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me. <laughs> Boy, when you get on a temper tantrum, darling, you get on a temper tantrum. I would but not then <laughs> you get over it very quickly. Okay. But you, I'm going to tell you then, I, I think you're going to agree with me, Dan. You are a volcano. <laughs> you're ready to explode. That's why I want you to start right now. All your anger issues because I want to see you be successful. I want to see you carry on what you've been given to get. Not everybody thinks that, oh, we, can, yeah, we all do have psychic ability, even you, my sweetheart. Yeah, Georgette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But even you, everybody has it, whether it's photography, whether it's weather wise, whether it's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, whatever you might do, artist or whatever. But you have many gifts. 
Okay. You don't put so many into the pot of fire there that you're going to burn yourself out. And it is, and I've had to teach myself this too. In fact, I think you told me this one time, Dan. It is okay to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. I think you told me that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I remember saying that, and, yeah, and we, that's the thing is we don't we don't realize it is like we're so hard on ourselves. You know, we I've always been taught as a child growing up in a different I got a different course of father and stuff that my whole life had to be perfect. Mm -hmm. I can definitely see where I tend to run away from failure. <laughs> yeah. But if we don't have failure, then we don't grow, do we? But see, I don't believe in the word failure. I believe in the word, it's a lesson in life that we have to yep. learn, okay? Balance. The only way it's a failure is if we allow it to keep doing it that way. Mm -hmm. Am I right? It's a good way to put it. Bridget, there we go. Nice. Someday I'll get it right. I don't know, for years I could. Remember Just I think of that Amazon bridge. <laughs> bridge, there you go. There you go. You don't like making decisions, do you? I do or don't. You don't. You ponder them. I'm a stewer. <laughs> yeah, okay. But you got, you got five big decisions coming up very shortly. The location where you are now, do you want to have a child now? When I actually see uh, the biggest baby or I've seen on anybody in a long time. And I could either be twins or triplets. Twins or triplets? Well, that's enough to stop the war. <laughs> right. I quit. <laughs> what do you see? Do you agree on um, that? Yes, on the baby, yes, I do. Um, I didn't see the twins or the triplets, but that's okay. I, uh, I don't usually... I don't or usually I'll be a it. very large baby girl. My last one was a little on the small side. <laughs> How many children do you have? One. <laughs> you had a little one. Your, your son now, he's a miracle baby. You know that, right? Yes. <laughs> And he knows it, too. Spirit gave him to you because he, Spirit wants him to grow with you. Mm -hmm. Remember, he chose you to be his parent. The person you're engaged to, was that his father? For all means other than the original. Mm -hmm. A lot of people just for donors, you know yep. what I mean. But this man just adores your son. Okay. Yes. There are a lot of people out there that are very jealous of the kid that you get to. You're a great mom. Thank you. Oh, believe me, I, I'm not bashful. You weren't. I wouldn't. You know, I think you'd be the same way if you're not. Oh right yeah, here, I, you know. no, I don't. No, no punches pulled. I, there's no need to lie. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. Just be. Don't be so given into him. He knows how to play that game already. <laughs> yeah. yep. Does he have autism? No, he doesn't have anything that we're aware of. Who has autism around you besides you? Well. We all have autism, believe it or not, every single one of us. I don't have anyone in my family who is diagnosed. There was one where they were concerned maybe he was on the spectrum, mm. but. The spectrum has changed over the years exactly. a lot. Exactly. I feel like a seven-year-old Seven? Child. Yeah. The one I had in mind was closer, Morta. He's, okay. I think he's turned 14. Yeah, okay. With a seven-year-old mind? In some ways. But he's very gifted. Okay, in other if, ways. Okay, so another one did come to mind. Is this person related to me directly? Indirectly. Indirectly, so through marriage? Right. Then yes, I know who you're talking okay. about. Seven is... Very intelligent. In many ways, okay. What people don't realize that if we could have, you know how you see the pirate chest? Mm -hmm. If you had a key to unlock that that uh, brave, imagine the information we could get would be incredible. No, we can't. You know? We can't imagine it. No. It would be no. Yeah. I have a, I have uh, a lot of friends that had children with autism. I just love them because I special what I so because they do have that unique gift. I have a very good friend his name is Jim. He has a son that has autism. Very proud of his son too, by mm -hmm. the way. You know. And uh, they're very gifted in many ways. I mean, a lot of them can play the piano, a lot of them can sing, a lot of them can do a lot of math or whatever. Einstein was like, autistic. They definitely see the world through in a way we'll never mm -hmm. get the blessing of. Yeah. <laughs> but I truly believe that every single one of us have it in one way or the other. Okay? I, I think if you want to call it handicap or whatever, like I can't drive a nail into the wall straight. 
So uh, I let everybody else do it. I don't do a manual layout, trust me. Uh, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler, so. No, I'm the same way. I can't really draw so good. No. But I can paint flames like nobody's business. Yeah. I can, I can <laughs> draw. Well, you're a motorcyclist repair yeah. person. Are you still doing it? No, just kind of yeah. on the yeah. side yeah. now. Yeah. I can draw, yeah. and I can done. Let go. I want, I'm getting that no very, 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 very strongly. Let go of the last 11 months. 11 let, months? Yep. Or 11 years. Let go, let go, let go is what I'm getting a message on. I'm not going to get into it because we're on the air, first of all. But I want you to let go of whatever it is that's holding you back. You know, forgive the people who have harmed you, not for them, but for yourself, okay? That's why I would definitely encourage you to. The person that you are with, he, you two really, you two are different as night and day, aren't you? <laughs> I guess we... But it clicks for you two. It works, okay. I mean... Who's the, cl who's the cleaner in the house? <laughs> not you. No. <laughs> you are not domesticated. He's used those exact words. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Your husband domesticated? He's much more than me. Okay. Because your grandmother wants to know if you know how to run a vacuum cleaner. Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> Once every month? <laughs> I'm only picking on you now. Actually, my partner's more domesticated than I am. You know, I, you know I'll you wash your floor, but I refuse to sweep it. Yeah? Oh, I hate sweeping floors. But why? I don't know. Was that a past life thing? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, I, I'll wash the floor when the dirt's still on it. I don't care. Yeah. I cannot do the dishes, but the floor, I'll take that. You do the dishes. Just... Oh, I won't anybody do dishes. I do the dishes. I won't touch I them. A certain, <laughs> I had a, 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 like yeah, there's a little OCD around the dishes oh, yeah. with me, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, too. Yeah. 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 I wash them, then I put them in the dishwasher. I take them out and rewash them all over again. Yeah. You know, why well, have a dishwasher, you know? I also will tell you're going to be doing... Uh, how old are you? Oh, I'm 24. Really? You do all that? Good for you. No, you don't ask a lady how old she is. Well, there's a reason the spirit is asking. It's not me, spirit. Because do know that you will be putting your, a lot of work that you're doing when you're between 29 and 30. You're going to be putting it on hold for a while. And the being reason is because you're overburning yourself. It doesn't mean that you're going to walk away. That you're never going to do. I say, if you told me that, I wouldn't believe you. No, no. <laughs> but I do see you being put in on hold because I don't want to see you get burned out. You're young, you're energetic, you have a lot to learn, and you're putting a lot of things into perspective, but take one thing at a time and work with that slowly, okay? And then that, uh, what do you call it, palatable, whatever you call Polarity. it? Polarity. So, what is it? Polarity Polarity, therapy. oh, okay. I really see you really situating on that. I used a big word. You did, you did. You, get, be you, proud get, of you me. get props for that. Yes, no, but, yeah, but Lori would have been proud of me. She is proud of you. Yeah, Come on. You know. And uh, there I get emotional again. <laughs> but I do see you working more with that and more with uh, the um, the yoga, the heat yoga, or some kind of yoga, more than the reading so much. I'm not going to say you're not going to do reading. Don't miss it ever, ever. <laughs> misunderstand that. I think that's part of who you are. But you're, you're going to be expanding your spiritual level to a higher level. Mm -hmm. I will also tell you, your husband's going to be learning how to do a lot of this stuff, too. <laughs> he may not right now, but in time. Yeah, it's going to take you know, time. Yeah. It's going to take like 10 years. <laughs> when you two get married, it's going to be for a lifetime. That is my goal. Yeah, yeah let me know. I'll officiate. <laughs> <laughs> you can marry people, too? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. One lady gave me an ounce of the half of heart, so I thought that looked pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Don't remember too much after that. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've done, the only thing, I, I don't mind doing funerals, but I've done them. I've done them too. Yeah. Not my favorite. Um, being an empath, funerals yeah. are rough. You're right. Funerals, but to say one, the least. Yeah. And that's what you're going to be doing. <laughs> funerals? <laughs> you know what? When you do it, look at it as you're giving the people relief. You're giving the people the, the, the moment that they need. To to you know understand, I let the people speak. I don't do the speak. I let them speak, whether bad, good, or indifferent. Okay. You want know speed limits are? I'm sorry. You know what speed limits are? Speed limits. Yeah. Who said that? <laughs> Why are you a fast driver? A little bit of lead foot. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. Can you afford a three hundred dollar speeding ticket? I've had to. <laughs> Can you afford another one? No. <laughs> and lose your license for ninety days. Now that wow. would be the damage. Wow. Okay. You have a choice. You don't watch the speed or lose your license for 90 days. The choice is yours. Did you know okay. that on Waze, they have an option that when you go over to the speed limit, I think it's seven miles over the speed limit, it alerts you. Oh, that's cool. 
That's really? What my GPS has that. It doesn't beep. I can turn on a beep, but it, it shows it on the screen what the speed limit is, and when you go over it, it turns a different color. Oh, yeah. no. My yeah. daughter so graciously put a beep on it. Nice. <laughs> That's good, though. So this That's is good. your choice. Okay. Okay. And you will be lost without your license. Yes. And your husband would pick on you like there is no tomorrow. Oh, I would never look that down. Okay, because he, because you always, <laughs> you always nag him about his driving. Yes. Okay, so you know, so let's just watch it. Okay. I'm the opposite. Okay. I drive slow. <laughs> do you have a Bluetooth? I do. Oh, good. Use that. So no, you don't use your phone directly, right? No, I okay. use Bluetooth in my car. Make all, right, all my good. phone calls while driving. But so you have. You live in a small town. I do, and I'm moving to a small one. <laughs> Yeah, you moving to the country? Some some people have told me that. Um, I'm actually going up to Barnstead. Oh, I New know Hampshire. Barnstead very well. Yeah, I liked the lake community there. Yeah, it's a lot. I used to party up there. Well, we won't get into details on that one. We don't but, need to uh, no, no. <laughs> Actually, I was from the Lakes Region the area at one time, but I also. But uh, one thing I'm also told you that's where you'll be more successful. Okay, because one thing I like about you is you're honest. I guess you don't see that much these days. You really don't. <laughs> I love these people. Oh, I can do this and I can do that. And we all run into these these charlatans or whatever. Uh -huh. But you're honest, and you're so worried about not being honest. That's the way you got to <laughs> let it go. And just remember, you have a lot of years ahead of you. You're gonna be around till you're about 104. Oh, don't put that on me. <laughs> oh, you'll be happy. You got. And if you want, I can see three children. Three, three children. If I want. Yeah. Is this the twins I coming? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you got one, and twins Two make... Two more, come three, okay, <laughs> or triplets. H how soon do you see these kids in the I country? actually see by the time you fe by February, you could be impregnated. By February, Oh, That's another big word, Norm. You want to... That's two. Yeah, that's, that's two. two. That's it. That's oh enough. Oh, my that's goodness. That's enough. Take yeah. it easy. Well, it will really be proud. Uh, you know, apparently. You know. I, I'll give you a call. <laughs> Please do. By February. We would be very... I actually will have you come on the show. I would. Boy, are you going to be big. Do you see I'm, I'm a small stature person? So this... <laughs> it's all good. It it's is. nature. Okay. Yeah, husband's going to walk around with a big chest and all that. Ha <laughs> ha. You know. I have to let you know. Did you know him? For, have you known him since childhood? No, actually. I haven't. I've known him, well... I haven't known him known for a couple of years, but, I mean, we met and we kind of hit it off. I mean, we were friends it, for a it, while, but... You two, if you knew each other in your past life. Mm -hmm. There's a past life. Kind of I knowing. believe yeah, that that's one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Boy, are you different as night and day, but that's what works for you. Okay. I think this is the first type of lifetime where you guys are actually a couple, though. Yeah. I think but, it was yeah. like friend or yeah. sibling or whatever. He's always had the hots for you, but, well, <laughs> he just got the courage to go with it. And uh, I also will tell you, he's really... He's a hard working man. Does he do a physical labor? Yes, he oh does. Oh, my God. By choice. <laughs> he's, a, he's a carpenter? No, he's not a carpenter. Um, he d works with commercial refrigeration. Oh, well, that's kind of like a carpenter. you got to build a motor, right, or whatever. There's a lot of that stuff involved. His son is a carpenter, though. Oh, he's older than you? Huh? Your, son, your husband's older than you? He is older than me. And when you said his son, that's what I was saying. His son, he had a son very young in life. but Oh. You know what? It's just no matter. It's just, I was married, well, several times. But anyways, <laughs> um, my partner's 14 years younger than I am. You know, As long as you are happy, you two connect. That's all that matters. I do see you building a nice house. So, wait a minute. He's 14 years younger than you, and you're 36? I'm 35. I think that's illegal. Yeah, I, yeah. Is it? <laughs> I think so. I'm not sure. I don't know the laws, but I think I think that might be. Uh, All right. Again, spiritualvisionary.net. You want to send those <laughs> emails in? <laughs> well, we're young at heart. Right, right. Yeah, there you go. go. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah. I also will tell you that... Ooh. Don't worry about the people that are being jealous of you. That's because they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's okay. definitely those. <laughs> Isn't it sad? That, yeah, I, you had it too. I, yeah, I just do. I just ran into this very recently too. It's um, it's not it's not if people get mad at you, it's not it's never never you. It is really never you. It is them reflecting on what's going on in their lives and putting it onto you. Yeah. Um, and it's hard to explain that. Most people don't really understand it, but um, 
you're as long as you're doing your best and having you know doing the best you can and trying to always do the right thing then um there's always going to be haters out there uh, yeah. always going to be haters i get them all up yeah time. that's yeah. a lady that has a tv show here as i say i sleep at night that's right that's me right. too and that's all that matters mm -hmm. as long as i i can sleep at night and not worry about uh, me doing something wrong uh, Yep. And as long as my dog will allow me to let me sleep, you know, otherwise like <laughs> yeah. 2 o'clock in the morning, she has to go out, or 4 o'clock. you got to let her out before you go to bed. Yeah. Oh, I do that oh, too. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, you know, I she enjoy goes. going out there at night. <laughs> I really do. I enjoy the quietness. I, enjoy, I have my little bench I sit there, and, you know. I, I just enjoy the, the, like you were talking about meditating. Yeah. You have got to meditate more. You're not the first one. <laughs> I used to have it's a very to you. good practice of okay. it, and... Life is busy. And just, don't do is it busy. When you, just don't do it while you're driving. Oh, no? <laughs> I don't even know how you would get into the yoga pose while you're driving. It'd be rough. Well, it doesn't have to be any. You can right. be anyway. I do what know the, Do you have a checking account? I do. You know how to balance it? What do you mean? I, <laughs> I know the balance of it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, how many of you overdrawn? I haven't overdrawn my checking since I was in college. Some okay. What I'm going to tell you is be very aware until we try to hack into your account. You know, I have reason to believe that someone is trying that right yeah. now. Well, there you yeah. go. <laughs> Don't change your PIN number. Line, line two. two. Which one's line? That's line one. That's yeah. line two. Line two, yep. Fire it up. Welcome to Norm's Community Corner. Hello. Try again. All right. Okay. What did you say? Hello. Try the other one. Hello. Nope. Well, call us back. Well, thank you. But um, <laughs> my my uh, and he son says and I'm not needed. <laughs> my son and my son and daughter-in-law, uh, Uber. Uh, they, you know, they went into this thing. My son put an app in for Uber to see what it was about. And somehow, they, man, somebody managed to get into his account. Yeah, that happens. And yeah. that take, they took over $150. Yeah, that happens. Oh, wow. And you can't find the 800 number to get a hold no, of them either. No, no. No, of course. No, you know, because no. you want to refute it. You can't refute it. And the bank won't help you. No. Oh, yeah. No. So, well, if they enjoy it more than my son and daughter, more yeah, power to well, them. It's just, I wouldn't want to be karma. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do one more here. Whoa. You've been through a lot of sickness in your family? Tem acute or chronic? <laughs> sickness. A lot of sickness in the family. Um, I mean, there was a cold going around. I'm talking about like cancer. Like, I did lose both my paternal grandparents to cancer. Okay. You don't smoke, right? No, not anymore. <laughs> I did your, quit. Boy, your husband smoke? He does. He has a breathing condition? He's a what? He had a breathing condition? No, he doesn't have anything diagnosed. Well, let's hope I'm wrong. Should he quit now or is damage done? <laughs> Should quit five years ago. <laughs> I have said it. I actually, the damage isn't done yet, but it could be starting. Yeah. Okay. 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 And, and vaping's no better. <laughs> Oh, that's worse. Vaping is no better. Because people think that vaping, oh, what well, you're sucking in that water. But it, yeah, oh, that, but it tastes like into, berries. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's no, going into no. your lungs. Oh, it's no, it's not better. No. 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 All I'm, right, let's try line two again. Ready? Okay, yep. Hello. No, the phone's There's a delay, so just say hello again. Hello. And talking to Norm, could be in the corner. You need to be back here again. I don't know what's going on. All right. I haven't called line one. Huh. All right, I'll just leave line two off the hook then. Okay. Because okay. it says not registered. Yeah, it says not registered on line two. Hmm. Who, do you play guitar? I do not. Who my, plays guitar? My fiancé does. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty good at it. He's very good at it. Just don't have him sing. Hmm? Just don't have him sing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> This is what your spirit is telling me laughingly, okay? He thinks he's a great singer? He sings. Does he sing perpetually? No. Oh, okay. Uh, the spirit is laughing as they're telling me that. Cause spirits can be jokesters, too. People have got to understand that, okay? Oh, usually. I find oh, yeah. a lot of jokes. I find air on the side of sarcasm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm very fluent in sarcasm, so that's how they usually speak me to me. Me, too. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 
When the, the house that you're moving into, you said in Barnstead, have you already picked the house out? Yes, we are going through the, the bank process right oh, no now. No problems. A lot of old spirits in there. A lot of old spirits in that house? Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid of them. A couple mischief makers. Yeah. Just one. Did, just yeah. one. one two. You know, I'm not surprised at all. I've never lived in a not haunted house. Yeah. <laughs> no. I hate that word haunted. I'm <laughs> really... Well, Find one. Right. Let's try it. Okay. You ready? Yep. It's the same lady. Hello, welcome to Norm's Corner, Community Corner. Hello. Hi, Mary. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? This is the bean maker, Mary. Yeah, Mary Mary's baked beans. Yeah. Oh. This is Patricia. No. Caitlin. There you go, Mary's baked beans. Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin. Yeah, <laughs> this is Caitlin, Mary. And yeah, she's going she, right, she's gonna be coming to the event as well. Yeah. Hey, you're getting a lot of them, huh? Yeah, if everybody shows up like they say, you will have like 25 vendors. And oh, isn't that no, more than what we, that's more than what we had the yeah. last time, isn't it? Right, the more the yeah. merrier. Yeah. Yeah. The, w w that's more than what we had last year, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, but it's for a good cause. And, and she's a young whippersnapper. Right. Yeah, she's a young whippersnapper. <laughs> And that one takes you to call in the old days? Or yeah, the the old days yeah, yeah. yeah, the old days, yeah. Yeah, the old days. I remember the old days. Now we just call young people millennials. Young people. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she's going to be there. So how are you doing, Mary? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay. Yeah, you sound good. Your energy is really good today. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, let me nice. tell you. I'm nice. feeling better than I had been in a long time. Oh, goodness. That's good to hear. Hey, our friend yeah. Jody was on your show, huh? Huh? Jody was on your show, huh? Yeah, she was. Yeah, she's, yeah. And she's a nice person, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, she's coming on. I, I try to get her on once a month because people, you know, it's funny. Isn't that strange, Norm, huh? Right. How people will ask you yeah. to ask whoever, whoever you have it on your show. Yeah. Instead of them, I guess a lot of people, I guess, don't want to call in or, yeah. you know, afraid of talking on TV or something. Yeah. But yeah. they'll ask you to ask that person. Oh, yeah, all the time. I got one yeah. lady, I got to get a hold of Jody because she's coming on again soon. Because this one woman has kidney problems and she wants to know the mirror. And I said to her, oh, call it. Oh, no, no, we can't do that. We don't want people to know, you know. And I think it's so yeah. Fun. yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know. And yeah, not, there's you know, nothing wrong about calling in, you know, no. and ask questions. Yeah, and you don't have to give your name. You can give a false name if you want, you know. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, you can always say, uh... I'm Georgette. See, yeah. uh, Miss there you Dun go. Dudley Doodle. What is that commercial? Not a commercial, but... Dudley Doodle. Dudley Do-Right. Yeah, Dudley Do-Right. Yeah, yeah, Dudley do right. yeah yep. something like that. Hey, Mary, <laughs> got a question. How many horses... Clydesdales? How many Clydesdales horses do they use to pull the Budweiser cart? It depends on which coach they pull. Oh, okay. If That's... they have the smaller coach, they have eight. Nice. If they have the bigger coach, they can have up to 12. Hey, so I was right and you were right. Hey, <laughs> nice. Hey, like, you were right, Mary. All right. Yeah. yeah. Good Mary, job. Da, 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 da. Mary, you win. You win, Mary. Want a quick? Oh, would thank you, you give her a quick reading, yeah. Mary? Want a quick reading from this young lady? Sure. There you go. Do you have any specific questions you'd like to ask? No, my my cat says hello. Though I got a sign. He just said hello to you. <laughs> Her cat really does talk. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. Nice. She went to the phone one day. Then she's got a cat that watches my show. Oh yeah. Yep. All right, she's just shuffling the deck for you, Mary. It's just going to be a second. Okay, that's great. She's been looking at the show with me. She's been sitting, I've been talking on the phone, and uh, she looks at the phone and she keeps saying hello. <laughs> hello there, kitty cat. <laughs> okay. That's my white Siamese. Yeah. She's the boss. Yep, she is. She's the princess. Yeah. Well, see, I anointed her princess because I'm the queen. There you go, buddy. <laughs> well, they do have a queen, uh, my Ladinia. She's yeah. the queen. Yeah. You know, keep talking. All right. right. Yeah, absolutely. All right. What do you got? Have you received any news lately? Are you expecting news? Not that I know of. 
So I am getting that there's going to be some new information or a new situation that will be arising. And the overall message I'm getting is determination and stamina. So with this situation, there's going to feel a call to want to get a little more invested or possibly to run into it head on. What this is saying uh -huh. is to take a step back and approach it a little more systematically. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so, so yeah, so the situation, okay, that makes sense. Um, so basically what she's saying, Mary, is that uh, uh, there is some an opportunity is going to present itself and you're going to want to jump in with both feet and they're saying to not do that, to think and make sure you, you think it through before you jump in. Yeah, I always do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of knew that about you, but um, th there, there's yeah. a reason there. There's a reason they're coming forward with this because uh, I'm, I'm assuming this opportunity is going to be uh, one of those. All right, let's do it type scenarios. So they're just giving yeah. you a, an additional warning. You get anything else? Yeah. Well, Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Give me a minute. Yeah, no worries. But with that overlying, the first thing they wanted to say is to think it through. It's not that the opportunity is a flat out no. But there's definitely some room in there to morph it more into what you actually want it to be. If you approach yeah. it slowly and step by step, whereas rushing in, you would pass the opportunity of the opportunity. Mm. Perfect. Sounds good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You don't have any questions, Mary? That's it? Yeah, that sounds good. All right. When's your show yeah. on? Are you still doing your show? Uh, mine's on, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow on Thursday at 5 o'clock, and I'm known better as Cruising with Mary. Cruising with and Mary. And it is live, yeah. And uh, if anybody wants to come on and uh, say hi, I want to be, you know, to come on for an hour with me and just plain talk about matches or whatever you want to talk about, it's okay with me. <laughs> just, get, just get a hold of me and know. Put you in there somewhere. All right. Is there a phone number you want them to call? Or? Yeah, they can call me at 486-8616. Uh, That's my cell phone. All right. And if I don't answer, just leave me a message and let me know who you are, and I'll get you on. All right. Well, thanks for calling in, Mary. You have a good one. All righty. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Mary. Bye, Mary. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh. Oops. Bye, Norm. <laughs> Awesome. So I've been looking at your uh, your sign. Yep. And your little chakra spares. Love them. <laughs> Love them. Um, I don't know if everybody who's watching knows what the chakras are, but uh, these are all the colors of, where are we? The base chakra all the way up to the crown chakra. And the chakras are the seven ma major energy centers in the body that are recognized with uh, a lot of spiritual work. Yeah. I think they kind of look like planets. I kind of like them like that. Well, that's what when I first saw them, I kind of thought planets. Yeah. You know. Uh, the uh, the chakras on my, on oh, my yeah. sign. I like them. Yeah. I, I think those are cool. Yeah. I say I'm jealous of your sign. They look like little glass marbles. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. definitely really cool. Yeah. I have a question for you. Sure. And you. Well, you know. You. Yellow. <coughs> Yellow? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a person that I know that is fully convinced that he's going to Dubai. He's convinced he's going to what? To Dubai. To before India. The end. Dubai. Oh, Dubai, sorry. Yeah. And do you, do you not have a different answer for her mm -hmm. them? And I don't see it until, but I want to see what you see. Okay. Can I have a name of? No. No name. All right. Because I don't have his permission. That's what I'm just saying. It's all good. Perfectly all acceptable. Good, I'm just going to pull a card. Does he want to go? Oh, yeah. yeah. So he wants it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I, yeah, I already threw out a date where I think it's going to happen. And, and I uh, hope yeah, it. Yeah. I'm not getting a clear cut yes or no, and that's, I that's hope I'm right. not okay. the tiebreaker. Okay. No, no, no. No, it's fine. That's fine. Whatever you get is what you get. There's no, there's no right or wrong to no, this one. No. This is. <laughs> you that's fine. Yep. To be honest, from what I am getting from it is, if he truly wants to go, the opportunity will present, but I don't think it's the way it's presenting now. Mm -hmm. You're in agreement yep, with us. Thank right. you. It's not where he. It's not when he wants. Or yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Nay, and I don't see it happening anyways. So. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things I'm also going to tell you that uh, she's a good, she. She was this lady was my bodyguard. <laughs> when, oh yeah, I've known Mary for long. Yeah. You've heard the story. Yeah. I've known Mary for many many years. Okay, I started to fight. She beat him up for me. 
Well, well, I don't want to ruin my nails. You, know, you can't do that. Well, is your dad still alive? Yes, he is. You have a good relationship with him? Yeah. I, as much as you both will allow each other to. I mean, it was rough in the teenage years, but who Always doesn't? Is. <laughs> Always is. You know, I tell people I never had parents. Right. I had a, I had a foster mom. You know, I knew my dad on them. If you would only be grateful that you had parents. That's right. You know, if you could only, because I don't know what it is. I, went, I, I, I had a feeling that my sister and brother, they found out I was gay, you know, they went their way out with mine. Yeah. But if you had your family, if you had your mom and dad. Oh, by the way, I want to offer our condolences for your loss. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, Bridget lost her dad. Friday. Friday. And uh, so we send our, from the TV show, we all send our blessing to you. I also want to tell you he's sitting right here in this room with you. I know it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's correcting everything you're doing. You know. And, you know, actually I had Amy, with, I think it was Amy or something, that actually connected with my real dad. You know, because no one else could do it for me. I think I was on the show when that yeah, happened. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he asked for forgiveness, and I, we, we both did. But mm -hmm. when people, when I hear people, I hate my father, I hate my yeah. mother. Doesn't, isn't that disturbing to you, too? It is only in, from the standpoint, I can only appreciate that now. I yeah. mean, if you asked me that question 20 years ago, um, I, yeah. you know, yeah. um, it's, it's all, it all depends on where you're at in life, right. I guess. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. But it's like you said, you don't, you, you can only not appreciate your parents. I mean, you, you didn't know yours. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. It, it, that's true with anything in life, yeah. though, really. Yeah. You can, you know, some people, you know. But I had a foster mother. Mother from like my foster mother, I had an amazing foster mother. <laughs> I could do no wrong. If you and I went out and we come back and I was drunk, and you come back from a different party, you were sober. You would still be at fault. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. You. Know, you were, your dad told me that he loves you very much. May I give you a message from him? Okay. He told me that he is sorry that he lingered on, but he wanted to make sure you were okay. I love and, you. Yeah, and he said to let you know how much he loves you. He said you're like him, stubborn as a rock. <laughs> I'm Irish. Yeah. Nothing there, wrong with that. Is there a dove connection? I literally just saw a white dove, and I don't yeah. usually see birds, so that was weird for me. But uh, keep that in mind, I guess. I the dove, the, uh, uh, my message on that is that she, he said it to a higher level. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's what the dove is representing to you. He's Interesting. A, and he's always going to be watching out for your children. Oh, I know that. Okay. You have a son, right? Mm-hmm. And he's kind of stubborn like his mother. And like his grandfather, <laughs> okay. And he says he'll keep him out of trouble. And he also told me that he is really very proud of you. I want you to know that. Okay. You've come a long way from when you were as a child to where you are now. You've never been a troublemaker, but you were kind of shy at one time. Can you believe it? No, yeah. <laughs> not for a second. Yeah, I can. <laughs> You know, yeah, for, yeah, I can, you know, and because uh, I was, I used to hide behind refrigerators when I was growing up as a kid. And that's how it begins. Me. But then I got to tell you, my TV show has really been, you know, you can't be shy when you're on a TV show. Yeah, no, my brothers and sisters would stop fighting and I'd just go take a nap. Yeah. There you go. You know, okay. <laughs> I, I, you know didn't want to get into the drama that I don't really you, want it now. You have a sister that he's, he's pretty upset with. I bet. I'm sorry, but I, he said, you know who it is. And he said, don't let her push you around. Can I ask if he was sick before he passed? Like, to, He doesn't want you to remember the sickness. He wants you to erase that, and he wants you to remember the good times. Like, he's bringing me back to when you were a little kid. Like, remember all the good times. Don't remember You know, that. it's funny. I don't know if you saw it, but I posted a picture on Facebook. Um, yeah. I went to see him on Memorial Day, mm -hmm. and I brought him a flag because he's a very yeah. proud Marine. And um, and he said to me, he goes, "You look gorgeous today." I did. I do remember that. And I'm yeah, like, I did too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm like, really? Yeah. I'm like, well, so if you're going to tell me that I look gorgeous, we're taking pictures. Right. And we did, and I was really blessed that that was a picture that I did get yeah. before he started going. Yep. You know more about I think you knew that his journey to the other side was already beginning. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. Is your mother still alive? No. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to be together. When he made the decision to go, though, I feel it was like, see ya. Yeah. 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 It was tough. He wasn't, he wasn't giving up. Right. But when that decision was made, I just, like, yeah. see ya. 
Now, you let him go, you told him it was okay to go? Yes, and I thanked him for being my dad. Mm -hmm. And I think that he was waiting for you to say, it's okay, mm -hmm. that you can go if you want to. Okay. That's like you're going to be, you got, you got to learn how to allow people to cross, give them permission to cross over. Or stay, whichever choose they, whatever they choose yeah. to do. Don't be afraid to, if you see someone that's ill and they need your advice, don't ever, either one of you, don't ever be afraid to say, it's okay, you can go home. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. It's not cruel, yeah. it's giving them a choice. Like Dr. Kevin Ross Emery and I, we've talked about it yeah. many times on the show. Yeah. And it is true. It's more cruel by saying, oh, no, Dad, you can't go, you can't go, because you're holding them mm -hmm. back from going to the other side. It's Sorry. actually kind of selfish to do well, that. Well, I'm yeah. heartbroken, but relieved at the same yeah. time. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah, I mean, you're going to. But do you know this everything you do wrong, you're going to know. <laughs> do you have a dog? Not anymore, but you keep telling me I'm going to get one. You aren't getting one. He's sending you one. Because the puppy that you have not, not, that you had, it went with him right now. That is, I this, would. is this a small dog? No. no. What are you seeing for a dog? I'm looking at a medium-sized dog. Okay. I had a Doberman. Okay, no, but I'm talking about <laughs> the new one coming. Oh, the small a, one. Yeah, it's a small one. And yeah. even if your husband says, no, 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 he is going to get into your husband's heart like there is no tomorrow. Oh, of course. That's a small dog. Well, it's at all yeah. dogs, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what yeah. happened with the last yeah. one. The last one, it was, you know, I mean, he was, it was a Doberman. Yep. You know, so people think that he's supposed to be big and fierce and scary and stuff like that. I mean, Lap the dog, dog would hide under my daughter's bed every time we left. Mm -hmm. And he would stay upstairs till we said, hey, it's us. We used to call him Dopey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I hate this. The one thing, I shouldn't use the word hate this. So when I end up, these people, they, both, uh, pit bulls are labeled. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. are labeled. Yeah. Any dog, pictures are labeled. Any dog, Jerry Shepherds are labeled. But, you know, I mean, the dogs do have a history. Of you course. know, like the Dobermans. They're work dogs. Mm -hmm. yeah. German Shepherds are work dogs. But it's all about how you raise them. Yep. You know, I mean, if you raise them in a loving, kind, caring home, then that's what they, they're they used to. I mean, even a bird. Yeah. You have a bird and you take your shoe and throw your shoe at the cage every time you come home. Then it's going to be a happy bird. Nope. You know? Scott, Scott has a special way with birds. He really does. I would say, would you please stop singing or make it 24 hours, seven, I'd put a thing. But the minute Scott opened the cage up, the bird would get out and get on his head, mm -hmm. go whatever. Scott has this unique way with animals. Nice. He really does, you know. My dog is my baby, though. But the cats, they all love. People will go to him, oh, don't go near that dog, or don't go near that cat. Next thing you know, the cat or dog is in his lap, you know. Mm -hmm. I think, and like you said, if you love an animal, it's going to respond back. But if you're going to teach that, you know, you're punching the dog in the head, are you going mm -hmm. to do this or that? Yeah, the dog is going to become vicious. Of course. Right. Of course. You know, and I, I always hope that they attack the person who would be vicious to them. I really do. My mm. dog used to, um, my husband taught him not to like squirrels because the squirrels would eat that bird food. But he um, would get out into the yard and he would, you know, do that little hunt thing. Yep, yep. And then he would get up on the bird, and he would stick his nose under the bird's butt and flip him. And then the bird would go this way, and he would go that way. It would be like, oh, my gosh, what happened? That's hilarious. <laughs> you know, that's like that, what really sucks is, like, the other day, Scott was, my dog was on, no, my cat was on the porch with a squirrel and a bird. Mm -hmm. And they were all laying there. Of course, we didn't have the camera, to, you know what I mean. Yep. And when they say, I, and I hate it when they say, well, they fight like cat and dogs. Or it's raining cat and dogs or whatever. Animals are only going to be treated the way they're supposed to be treated. Right, but how many people have cats and dogs? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Lots. 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 And if they're not supposed to get along, how are they getting along? Yeah. yeah. Because it's the way they're raised. You so, trade them. Yeah. You trade them, you know. Well, kids don't get along. <laughs> Adults true. don't get along. Actually, I have a saying that, and it's on my website, and I have a saying that, People are more wilder than the so-called. Oh wild yeah, animals. absolutely. They absolutely. don't kill unless they need to for hunger or protection of their children. You know. Wow, you have such a healing energy around you. Relax and let it happen. Don't worry about. Oh, am I going to do this right? Am I going to do? This? Relax. You're still young. You're a young puppy, and this is why I'm saying you haven't even touched the iceberg of what you're learning spiritually. Like, I'm only right? excited yeah. for it. <laughs> you're in perfect time, though. You're not. Yeah. You're not. You're not like. Uh, as far as learning goes, you're not 
overwhelmed. Um, but at the same token, you're very thirsty. So it's coming to you at... And she drinks your water. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's coming to you at the rate it's supposed to, obviously. Um, and you're obviously thirsty for more. But um, too much at one time, like Norm mentioned earlier, is not a good thing. So just, you know, give it time to digest what you just learned before you jump into something new. I'm definitely very much a keep going type person. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of oh course. yes. Yeah, right now you have. All, see, that's what I'm concerned about. You have all. You want to learn. You're, you're young. You have all this energy. You want. You want to bring it all. in. you're hungry for the knowledge. It's like the, the well. I like to call it when you're climbing at the spiritual well, and you're gonna sit back. You're gonna climb. You're gonna get. And then you're, there's gonna become a day when you say, "I had it," <laughs> and that's when you need to take a break. Yep. It's okay to take a break every it is. again. I'm taking them. Uh, I took one for... I always did reading, but I did them on the dark side. Oh. You know. Readings on the dark side? Oh, yeah. You sometimes have to learn from the dark side to be aware. Well, that's the thing. You know, that's the, you, the without the dark, you can't appreciate yeah. the light. I understand. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, so that's, that's rough. When I hit rock bottom, I, I, bought, I, I belong to this Born Again Christian Church. Oh, I'm going to hell because of gay or my... And I do psychic reading and all this stuff, and they accuse me because my my child uh, my life was so bad. That's why they God took my little girl away from me, you know, and stuff like that. And I almost committed suicide mm -hmm. over it. So of course, they more they said that to me, no more the bottle got into my mm -hmm. way. And I actually went to beat a guy. Yeah, that was a member of the church, and uh, I wouldn't let me. <laughs> right. But how you is know? that supposed to be? If God is supposed to be all forgiving, that's what I said. Why is it, you know, why are people saying that, you know, God's not going to forgive you? If he forgives serial killers, mm. you know. Yeah, we could go on a whole religion mm -hmm. tangent right yeah, now. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, I don't, I don't yeah. get that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get that, no matter what religion you are. Yeah. yeah. You know. Um, religion is, it's an, I believe it's a necessary evil. There are people out there who need guidelines. There are yeah. people mm -hmm. out there who need something to believe in. And religion is an absolute necessary evil. And there's a reason there's the evil part in there because they yeah, invent, they invent things like like um, you know yeah, the yeah. devil and yeah. and the bad place they invent things in order to keep everybody doing the right thing see, yeah. see I don't call I call it the spirit the, you know, the spirit you know I am a spiritualist yep I don't uh, and that spirit comes, our religion you want to call comes from your heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and doesn't come from this big building with a big cross on it <laughs> and handing out the what do they call the offering plate? Yeah, but you some know. people need that. Some yeah. people need oh, that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I will never yeah. take... It is not to me to judge other people. Mm -hmm. I learned my lesson young with uh, that not messing with other people's religion. That was yeah. one of my big mistakes, I think, growing oh, of course. up. Of course. Because the people that come into my office, and you, they'll be coming to your office, too. That people that come into our office are all different religion, different beliefs. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I had a lady come in from Russia. Yep. I've had people... I have been so blessed. I really have. Yep. I've had people from Argentina, I've had people from Spain, and I've had, uh, you know, so do I take it for granted? Oh, absolutely not. The day that you and I start taking it for granted, the, the day we might as well retire. Well, you learned that the hard way too, didn't you? Oh, I sure yeah. did. I yeah. sure did. I had to lose everything mm -hmm. to be where I am today. Yeah. And I look back at my life and I say, oh my God, do I really deserve to be where I am today? Right. You know, and you have to. Yep. Like, you've had to lose everything to be where you are. Of course. So don't get embarrassed if you lose it for a while. I've yep. been through that where I lost everything. Yep. I, I did that one young, too. Yep. <laughs> it's but good. No, it's not over yet. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> I could not get like that Like I've said easy. before, <laughs> when people think they have it all or they know it all, they know they had not learned any. I've had people literally, I think you were on one of my shows. This woman came with the attitude that she knew everything. I'm trying to think. I've she met a few people words. like that in my day. Yeah, I have. I, I love it when they do it because then I'll embarrass the hell out of them yeah. and think nothing of it, you know. Yeah, I don't. One thing I like about Bridget, there we go. I nailed it. Right. Wow. I nailed oh, it. That's twice. I had to play the lottery. <laughs> right. So there you go. Hey, I actually Eight, see you 16. winning. Uh, I actually see you winning. <laughs> Uh, okay, anything that makes it into a 9 for you or anything that makes it into a 14, 1 and 4, make, you know, 5 and 9 or whatever, 9s are really strong and prevalent for you for a number. 3 times 3 is 9 or uh, 33 plus 3 is 9. Anything that makes your prevalent number will be your dominant number. Yours is going to be 8. 
Kate. I'll tell you the number I've been playing. <laughs> you know the one the one week I didn't play it. Of course. Um, because I play. Uh, there's two numbers I've been playing, and I play an exact number and um, any order. It came up any order. One time. You know what that means, right? Yeah. It means that I stop didn't. playing. Means I didn't play it. Right. Stop my uh, one week. That's uh, like, haha! Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah one week. Since I yeah. haven't played it. In yeah. yeah. One week, and I played it by numbers faithfully for like three years. One week, I forgot to play. I should have won four point two million dollars in the mega bucks. My son didn't talk to me for two weeks. Hey, that's that's the universe telling that's, you you're yeah, not supposed you're to win the mega bucks. Nope. That's why they call it gambling. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's it, folks. This is why if, if we were supposed to win it, folks, or we well, were it'll supposed happen. to yeah, it if, would happen. If it's supposed know. to happen, it will. We could close if, if it was going to run on now. We could close the banks. Mm -hmm. You could close when I go well, and I do a readings in the casinos. I um, I have to sign a waiver. I will not gamble. Really. <laughs> Yep. I'm yep. Su you know, I'm not surprised they make you sign that. <laughs> you know. I actually see you get a passport. Say, how do you do a blackjack. I'm sorry. <laughs> do, do I have no comment on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you have a passport? I do. Okay, could I see you going to Canada? Canada? I'm actually leaving uh, Friday. <laughs> to oh, go, yeah. Going south, though. We're what? going down to the Florida Keys. <laughs> ah. Some cool. kind of retreat in Canada, though. Some yeah. kind of spiritual thing. Just a couple days. Well, it'll fall in my lap when it's meant to, yeah, right? Okay. I can't start happen. looking for it. Yes, your husband has a lot of stomach problems that he's not talking to you about. Yeah. And his stress level comes right into here. Stomach problems from what he's eating and stress. I was going to say somebody's got to become domesticated and cook some good <laughs> meals. Yeah. <laughs> well, when his work has him on the road. I'm sure. Yeah. That's how he yeah. lives. Something he takes everything to heart. And he's so afraid of losing you, okay? Okay. And when you when you get upset, you threaten. <laughs> your eyes roll back in your head. That tells it all, right? But just reassure him that you do love him. He want would you allow him to adopt your son? If I ever had the opportunity, I don't. I you, would in a heartbeat. Because I know that's happening. Yep. Really. I know if, if I am not right, may the spirit take whatever I do for readings. That's what I do. That's what. That's what, how close I am on that. Yeah, like legal or? Legal adoption. We both hope every day it'll eventually come to that. <laughs> okay. Can you want to give me, is there anyone that can get a hold of you? Huh? If they want a reading, is there a way you can get a hold yeah, of you? Yeah, how can you get in touch with you? Phone number? Oh, I, Facebook, Facebook page. page. I would recommend sticking with the Facebook page. Okay. Um, I have two. Uh, one of them is Rowan, and the second one is Red Fox Bodywork. Both of the pages are a little silent in the moment due to everything being in the air. But oh, okay. So the Red Fox Bodywork is the same thing as the Rowan I have here. Actually, I have. It's two businesses. Uh, mm. Rowan is what I made with more of my handmade stuff, with my jewelry and the kind of the spell work I offered. Red Fox Bodywork is my business, where I actually had the office, where I did massage, polarity, and Reiki, and I also do readings out of there as well. Okay. You don't mix the two. Rowan, I did more with fairs, and mm -hmm. it was where I had physical product. When I got into my office to do massage and stuff, I didn't have the space for my crafts, so. Yep. I just figured maybe I should go with a little more to the massage side with the title. One of the things that I want you to really be aware of, Massachusetts, are you, are you opening your office in New Hampshire? Yes, okay, good. staying That's in New Hampshire. Because I see now in Massachusetts where they want to make us licensed. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. They want to license everything yeah, over there. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I did see that one coming. I think <laughs> actually, I think there's a new license all you need to uh, get before you brush your teeth in Massachusetts. Oh, probably. Now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Do you know I did a it, No, it's a permit. I'm sorry. It's not a license. Yeah. I went and I did two parties down in Massachusetts. And one of the people who said to me, she said, make sure that this is for entertainment only. Yep. Yep. And you guys, if I didn't say it was entertainment only, I could have gotten a lot of trouble. Mm hmm and she worked for the fraud division, so she wasn't like what I was doing for a reading, because she come and told me. I go, are you serious? She says, go ahead and say it, watch what I do. I go, ooh. There you go. So, both we are, we we will never tell you that we are 100% accurate. Oh. However, we will tell you that 
whatever we say to you is not in concrete. Right. You can change anything you want in your life. Like if you don't want to have triplets and uh, twin, you know, that can be changed. And why is that? Because of free will. Free will. I tell everybody that the future is not written in stone. It is not. Um, the information that we get, or me personally, yeah. um, the information that I get is is how it's going to fall as of right now. Now, right. I could say, you're going to leave this reading, and you're going to go to McDonald's or whatever, and you're going to get a cheeseburger. And you could leave and not do that just to spite me and just because, oh, yeah. because of free yeah. will. Yeah. I had a guy who said, I haven't got a speeding ticket yet. Mm -hmm. And he's going on. I said, that's because you avoid it by listening to what I say. You took the you know? information and yeah. used it to your advantage. And you, don't, and you don't want to admit it. Yep. Once again, folks, we got about three more minutes. We are having a psychic event at the, um, somewhere. Yeah, the you, church. Yeah, there you go. Unitarian <laughs> Universal <laughs> Church. At the Unitarian, yeah. Yeah. Universal Church at 669 Union Street, Manchester, New Hampshire. That's going to be on October 26th from 10 to 4. All proceeds are going to um, benefit Healing Paws. There will be spiritual leaders and vendors. October 20th, not the 6th. Not yeah, the 26th. Oh, did I say 26? Yeah. I'm sorry. October 20th. And all proceeds go, and not the Healing Paws is for people who ha cannot afford to go to the veterinarian. Right, veterinarian. We will bills, help yeah. them pay their bills. Yeah. My son and daughter-in-law got a phone call three months after they got a jet and their dog passed. Mm -hmm. Three months later, saying, oh, your dog is still here on ice. Because okay. they owed them twenty-four dollars instead of sending them the bill or telling them, then they paid it. I mean, how heartbreaking is that? Yeah. You see, Manchester Animal uh, Hospital. Well, I called them and asked them about. It. Oh no, we don't have anybody here by that name. Okay. Then so they literally lied to me, you know. But we are going to work on. Oh yeah, we're also doing. I forgot. We're also doing dog grooming. Yep, dog grooming. You suggested hot dogs. that. Am I correct? Sometimes you listen. Oh, not all of them. Yeah. And we're gonna, <laughs> no, we're not going to cook the dogs out to me. No. Well, I wonder if that, well, we could, I suppose, put them on a roasting thing there. No, I don't know. think we could. No, no. no. I don't think that's no, counterintuitive. Yeah. 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 It kind of went go against what we're talking about, yeah, right? exactly. We'll call them freight footers. There we go. You know. And we're going to, this is something new. And you know, Dan, we never had the hot dogs before, the freight footers. And we yep. had popcorn. There's going to be free donations. So, if you want to donate the minute you come in, we have the, a couple of our organizations we've invited to come and have set up a table so they can help raise money. That one in uh, Canaan, New Hampshire was on last week, you know. The spiritual, and, the sacred place? Yeah. So if you have, if you know anybody that wants, needs a free space, uh, they're more than welcome to. I'm not going to be a hypocrite now uh, and advertise that had the Dutch Shelter. All right. You, no, you and don't have I to. I can't. I can't. And I, I've thought about it. I've thought about it. But, you know, we raised $1,800 for them. They came and took some money and went out the door. And I'm not looking for that pat on the back, but just a little kind word because we all together goes a long way. One thing I'm also telling you, you're going to be doing an event. You're going to, when the event that you put on yourself, and it's going to take you two years to get it ready. It's going to take a long time. But I actually see you want having one of the most successful event in the area where you're going to be. Yeah. It's not oh. going to be in Barnstead. Okay. Should okay. I start planning now? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Put I it should, out in the universe. Yeah, yeah. I, I would absolutely. I've been doing this now for, I've had my downfalls, I've had my calls, you know, and when, it's strange, when I went to the universe, I said, go to the church. I go, no, that's a, you know what I mean. Right. And every time I went to, and I've always had fairly luck when the different events that I've done. But since I've been doing to the Universal Church, Unitarian Universal Church, you got yeah. it, yep. Whew, that was a big word. You got it. And when you, uh, uh, I raised over like probably $4,000 in one day for the Manchester Animal Shelter, all combined with two different readings, three different readings. So people will give more for the animal than they will for people. Absolutely. Yeah. All day long. Well, the thing is, there's a lot of organizations out there that well, would people don't have. Help. People have more control than animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love doing it. And you know what? They're grateful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They really are, you know. And folks out there, um, if you would, please come and join us. And uh, if, you have, if you're a vendor and you'd like to come, you can email me uh, right up there. No, that's my... 
Spiritualvisionary.net. Yeah, and that's my website. Uh, Psychic Visions by Norm and Comcast.net. Or you can see me on Facebook. I am so gorgeous, you, you'll catch it right away. No, only kidding, folks. But anyways, and, and we got any vendors that are interested in coming in. And coming in has some fine homemade baked beans. I have a good reading from Tara. Caitlin. So close. Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin. Okay. Will I am okay. Will you also be doing the polarity heal healings? Uh, if the space was available to do it, um, I, it we could can be arranged. It could we be arranged. Can make, okay, we can make it space, believe me. Dan, if you can make it, you're probably doing like what Amy did in the crossover or whatever. Uh, yeah, I do more psychic readings yeah. than uh, than mediumship. Yeah. I am able to do mediumship, but uh, when I do fairs, I like to do keep it psychic, um, okay. keep you focused on your path, yeah. what's coming up in your future, because that comes through fairly quick, and we're only doing short readings. That's right. the best way yeah. to go. Yeah, and we had fun the last uh, time. Always. You always know, the fun. thing is, we all get to know each other. And that's a cool part, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, I I'm in a room usually by myself because that's the way. I, well, I have another reader room, you know. Yeah. But I usually, you know, not because I'm a star, but just that's who I am. Last time you did, you did a lot of readings, didn't you? I did. Yeah, we had a we had a good day. Yeah, yeah. I did like twenty two. I, I, I was up there. About, I don't know the exact. Yeah, count. I was thinking about fifteen. Yeah, it was it was up and because, there. Yeah, and it's going to get better because as we work hard to get our reputation going, believe me, the first time I ever did a, an event, I think I did two people, you know. Yeah. Then it builds up. And then, but word of mouth is the best advertisement. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I, I'm not going to tell you to go online and, I mean, uh, add the paper. Well, or every like every little bit does help, yeah. but yeah. When you yeah. pay for it, that means that people will wonder, well, if you pay for it, why, you know. Just fa Facebook is great. Facebook helps a lot with those events, sure for does. sure. Okay. I want to thank you for coming on. It was of my course. pleasure having you thank on. You. Will you want to come on again? Sure. All I'd right. be happy to. And Bridget, we'll see you next week. Nice. That's three <laughs> times. Yeah. Today. That's awesome. we got to get you back on again. Today. I will. I will. Okay. Yeah. And everybody out there, have a great day. And remember, you are the winner. See you next time.